Aztec safety. This must be the place, boys. Huh, that's about right. Looks like this is where the uh, engineers hang out. Nice spot. Here's something else that's cool under pressure. Great tour, but where's our man Brett? I don't know. All right, normally he's bailing me out. Roll reversal, baby, there he is. Rescue mode. Putting out fires for these guys already. Hi there, I'm Joseph Rosenberg, the Contact Center Manager for Utility Safety Partners, and we're very proud to be a sponsor of the Aztec Safety Challenge. Now, when you're competing in a bond spiel, you gotta dig deep, nice. uncover what's deep. buried, and plan each shot. And in life, when you've gotta dig deep and uncover what's buried, well, you have to plan, and that plan needs to involve utility safety partners. When bumping that object in front of you is not an option. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the final at the Aztec Safety Challenge here at the Lloyd Minster Golf and Curling Center in Lloyd Minster, Alberta, Saskatchewan. We are getting geared up as Team Cooey is finishing up their practice right now as we get ready for a big match between Team Reed Carruthers and Team Kevin Cooey. My name is Kyle Mulligan. I am joined in the booth with Ryan Dice and Scott Manners. Guys, thanks for joining me here this afternoon. It's going to be a huge match. What do we expect from these two teams as we get ready to go for the matchup this afternoon? Well, well, these two, like these two skips are very familiar with each other. I believe they've played over 30 times in their history, so uh, I expect that there'll be a lot of uh, rocks in play this game. Abs. Here more? Yeah, we're close. Fantastic, guys. We are looking forward to a huge, huge game this afternoon. Again, as Ryan mentioned, these teams have played each other Try 32 that. times. Scott's mic's now working. Fantastic. We've got 32 times these guys have played against each other. The record is 17 and 15 in the edge of Team Cooey. These guys have also played one game so far this year. That was on October 17th with Team Cooey winning 5-4. Now, as Kevin Cooey gets ready for his draw to the button, we will find out who's gonna get the hammer. Looks as though Cooey's gonna play the Yellow Rocks here today on sheet number five. So how did these two teams get here? They've both gone six and one. They both won their first match. Then, they both lost their second game. Cooey lost to Adeen, Carruthers lost to Mowat. Then, both teams decided it was time to get hot. They have won in the last 48 hours. They've all won, both won, five games each to get to this point. Earlier today, Kevin Cooey played against Bruce Mowat in a back-and-forth battle with Kevin Cooey coming out on top 6-4. And Team Carruthers going up against Team Retornez. Team Retornez literally played five games in a row 
as they played in the semifinal. We're trying to play six in a row and get to the final, but we're not able to do so as they lost 5-4 to Team Carruthers. Brad Jacobs with some massive shots in that game. As we look at the shot to the button, as these guys determine who is going to have the hammer. Scott, your mic's working. I'm back on. Here we go, we're live, that's fantastic. Two big powerhouse teams getting ready to play for $26,000 for the winner here today. Great prize money for these guys today, Kyle. Fantastic draw to the button there. We're just waiting to see first introductions here from Jeff. As we get ready to introduce the teams, we are going to send it down to ice level as we get ready for this final at the Aztec Safety Challenge, proudly brought to you by Wild Rose Pump and Compression. All-Canadian Final. I think we've had uh, four really great days of curling and uh, we're going to cap this off with an amazing game today. Uh, I'm pleased on behalf of Aztec Safety to be able to uh, be part of this and our presenting sponsor, Wild Rose Pump and Compression. We are here to introduce the players for the final game and from Team Carruthers. We've got lead, Connor Negevin. Derek Semigalski. May not need a lot of introductions. Brad Jacobs is the skip. And the headmaster of Team Carruthers, Reed Carruthers. They play out of the Winnipeg Curling Club, and you'll see a lot of them on television next week Thanks. as well. So. Welcome, guys. Welcome. And on, on the other side is, again, some team that doesn't need a lot of introductions, someone who's been here a lot, yeah. Team Cooey. Lead is Carrick Martin. Second, Jacques Gauthier. Third is Tyler Tardy. And they are skipped by Kevin Cooey. Cheer hard. Let's go in this All-Canadian Final. Look forward to a great game. Great curling, man. All right, guys. It's time as we get to the curling action here at the Aztec Safety Challenge. As they get the final stretches in, not 100% sure who has hammer yet, but we're going to find out real quick. Guys, for both of these teams, do you want the hammer in one? Is it is it kind of the standard for you guys when you're in competition, you're playing in the big matches? Do you want to get the hammer early and set the tone? Absolutely, yeah. They, like uh, even just scoring first, even the first end, that uh, statistically you win win more games than not that way, and especially at this level. Just sends an early message, Kyle, too, to your you know these teams have played against each other before. They they're going to do everything they can to get that hammer. We saw the draws to the pin. It looks like Cooey with hammer here in the first end as we see Connor Negevin setting up with red stones here in the first. So for Team Carruthers, don't have the hammer to start the game. How do you create offense here early in the first end? What is the strategy? What's the mindset that's going through Brad Jacobs' head as he starts to call this game? Probably going to throw a tight, tight center guard, and then uh, they're probably going to rely on a few freezes this first end as they're, they're going to do their best to... Uh, you know, get a nice force here or, or, you know, opportunity presents itself, maybe even a little steal. So I'm not 100% up on my rule changes. I'm not a big curler like you guys, but I, I do enjoy the game. I've been around it a lot throughout my life. With the change in the five rock rule and the no tick zone when it's on the center line, how has that evolved the game here in the last couple of years? Well, um, the five rock rule has, has really evolved where um, it makes the, makes especially the, the ending a lot more exciting. Like, for example, the semifinal there where between uh, Retornez and, uh, and, uh, and Carruthers there, um, typically in the four rock rule game, if you're down two, pretty hard to uh, get more than two points, whereas uh, the five rock rule creates that opportunity to get three. Yeah, and you know what? Throughout the event, we uh, even last night in the 
in the quarterfinal game as Team Botcher was trying to get their way through. They were able to get three in the final end to push it to an extra end, but weren't able to get through Team Mowat, who were buzzsaws throughout the whole week. As we uh, watch Team Cooey here, Carrick Martin with his first. A little bit of an overcurl there, Kyle. Wanted, team Cooey wanting to take their rock and hit and stick on the on the rock that was right, in, right tight to the rings and control that zone in front of the house. But just a little bit of a miscue. Now in the eight, eight end game, not 10, right? How important is it for these teams to manage the game properly so that one, you've got Hammer coming home in eight. How is that managed now? It's a little bit different, shorter game? Shorter game, uh, yeah, the, the, the Hammer means even more important off the start with, with an eight end game versus a 10 end game. That's um, you know, less opportunities to have hammer if you don't have it off the start, right? So they're going to take chances early, and that's why we see the center guard go up. And it's it's great action for us, you guys, right? Now they can't just up and tick guards anymore once they're touching the center line. They've really got to go for it right out of the gates. Carrick Martin here with his second for Team Cooey as we get this championship final underway. Fans are starting to pile in. It's been a, a chilly week here in Lloydminster. But the fans have been coming in in groves. People are starting to show up here for the final. The upstairs has been busy the whole time. The food and beverage has been fantastic. Fantastic. Can't Unbelievable. Thank the Lloyd Minster Exhibition Association enough. Jackie Tolmeyer and Jim Armstrong, their teams have done a great job here this week. And it just goes to show what world-class facilities we have in Lloyd Minster and what they're able to do when they're open consistently. It makes for a fantastic experience for all of the fans and for everybody that's been joining us throughout the week. Now, I was, I was looking back on some memories. I was looking on my Facebook page. Hard to believe 10 years ago, guys, Hockey Day in Canada was here in Lloydminster. Now we're standing here in another world-class event at the Lloydminster Golf and Training Centre. Witnessing hard. a great game between two great Canadian teams. Good boy, Derek. Great Fan run back there. Fantastic venue here, Kyle. I'll make sure on this. Yeah, a little, a little fresh. Not Jacques bad. Gauthier getting ready to throw his first shot here in the second, first end of this championship final. Just clean. Just clean. Clean. Yep. Great control weight hit there by Kyle Goat. Jacques Gauthier. I like normal. Kyle Mulligan, no, I'm not throwing seconds today, Scott. <laughs> they don't let me out there. Right on the see nose. how many more slips I can have. There you go, but no, great shot there by Jacques Gauthier as Derek Samigelski steps in. Looks like we're going to play a little bit of cat and mouse here with this one rock in the rings. Yeah, a little bit. Very critical to, to make the hit and stick clean. at least on Wait, this. Wait, okay? Well, clean. Clean. Now with these guys clean. having played seven games so far, getting great ready to play here. their eighth. They've played all over the rink in this event. Is there any trying to get comfortable on the ice for this, or they're already comfortable? It's the final. It's ready to go. They've played enough. Uh, yeah, like they, you know, they. It w wasn't like they had to go through the A where you play less games. Going through the B, you, you have to play a couple extra. So they're both teams are pretty warm, and I think they're they're comfortable out there. They'll like those extra games, Kyle. A little Green. more time on the ice, a little more feel for the ice. Clean. Yeah, and as, as we saw last Green. night, Green. Team Gushu Good. Green. and Team Adin, who played the fewest games in the event, both eliminated last night. So, goes right. to your point, Scott. Easy. Maybe it is better Try to be playing a little roll, more eat. games, get a little more sense of what's it's going on on the ice. Easy. Even though Gushu came out and had a practice session yesterday morning, Still not enough to make their way, and I know everyone out in Newfoundland and Labrador was super excited for the game last night. The comments on the stream was outstanding, and uh, but again, unfortunately for Team Gushu, they couldn't get past Brad Jacobs and Reed Carruthers Whoa. last night, which was an outstanding Whoa. game. Whoa. And more to your Whoa. point, Kyle, you know there's Whoa. no substitution Whoa. for games. Whoa. Whoa. Curl. Curl. Reed Carruthers Red. with his Red. first Red. going Whoa. for the hit and roll. Almost. Full roll over to the center line here. As Kevin Cooey is Came calling on Tyler part. Tardy to Tyler. peel this one out. Yeah, a little fresh. Just a little, yeah. Yeah, I do. I think it's yeah, I agree. six feet probably. Here the Cooey team discuss this fresh path for the first takeout here by Tyler Tardy. Makes sense. It's usually in the, 
pregame practice, you don't throw too many stones on, in this area, so. Just in between today, eh, Ryan? Hard, uh, hard, you got it, come on. Chop Goshi there with a good sweep. Okay, As we get the nose hit from Mom. Reed Carruthers. Good throw. That wasn't Reed. Tyler Cardi. I'll go. get on it. <laughs> There's the mess up spot we were waiting Didn't for. Didn't come off as much Thanks. as We've got uh, 675 people tuning in on the YouTube live feed. We're getting some uh, comments back and forth. We've been treated to some of the best curling this week. No sweat. Totally agree with you. It's been outstanding. Greetings from Brantford, Ontario. And then another one of the guys that's been doing some play-by-play -play throughout the week, one of the coaches at Lakeland College, Chris McQuid. Good luck to teams cooing for others. Great curling action all week long. If anybody has any comments, we'd love to know where you're tuning in from to watch this final at the Aztec Safety Challenge. Please log into the chat and leave your comments, leave your questions. If there's any analytical analysis type stuff you want, Make sure those questions go to Scott and Ryan because they're the ones that are going to answer it. I'm just the guy here that gets to enjoy hanging out with these guys today as we watch yeah, some outstanding roll, curling. Reed Carruthers, just with his second shot there, was able to get the hit and stick. As now Tyler Tardy settles in for his second here in the first end. Yeah, great job. Now as this end's progressing here, like uh, Team Kui might want to play this end where they will try to... Go for the blank. Here. Don't say that dreaded word, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. We don't want blanks in this game, do we? These two Same teams way. have had that, some of the highest scoring games throughout the, the week. That is, that is a swear word to, to, to some well people the these days. Holy <laughs> blank, blank. When you look at the statistics, Team Cooey points for 6.79 throughout the week. Team Carruthers, 7.45 throughout the week. So there's Fine, been bud. lots of scoring from these guys. Yeah. But you're going to go with that dreaded word, that yeah. blank word. Yeah, yeah that would be good. I mean... They'll want to carry that hammer into the second end, Kyle, That's and fine. stay there yeah, on no even ends well. and do whatever they can to get the even end score. Game management, as we talked it's about, like so bomb, important like, like at there. this level with the precision well, that the these you. guys play. Kevin Cooey, winter jacket and all as he comes down the ice. Or sorry, Brad Jacobs, sorry. Um, bald heads, both of them, so. Yeah. But, and winter uh, jackets, both of them, so, yeah. Kevin's got the toque on, though, so yeah. that way I know exactly who's who. Brad Jacobs settling in. What do you think, Ryan? Do you think there are too many any nerves from these guys? Have they been in this situation before? No, I, I these guys have been a they've played in like uh, especially the two skips anyways, they've they've been in you know, in a lot of slam finals and and a lot of big Bonspiel finals in the past. Big Briar games too, Ryan. Eh? Yeah. You're telling me the Briar and the World Championships are more important than this game at the Aztec <laughs> Safety Challenge? Come on, you guys. This one is pressure. This is what it's all about. You're I'd, in Lloyd Minster, the only yeah. border city in Canada. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to ask these guys if they have any nerves or how many nerves they have, Kyle. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got a hunch that these guys, like you said, have played in so many big games, thrown so many of these rocks in their life. But um, but at the end of the day, they're still human. Yeah. And But again, the game has evolved so much over the last 15 oh. years with the work with mental coaching, physical and mental coaching Draws off and on the ice. It's buried. no longer a game where you show up, do a couple quick stretches, and head out on the ice anymore at this Can level. These nice guys and are and totally <laughs> yeah, smoking darts. <laughs> but uh, these guys are 100% ready to go. And the mental preparation and the coaching that goes into this for these guys to perform at the yeah, highest level as buried, they are preparing quite. for a big week next week yeah. in Red Deer as they have a grand slam. Both of these teams we'll will be in that event, but I'm pretty sure one of them like to go with $26,000 in their pocket. Absolutely. This is going to be a great game today. I know from the, from the finals that we've played, maybe even some of the finals that Ryan and I have played, there is no other game like the I final. Think we should be able to get it's by it's cross. a bit yeah, cross hard to describe that, but things are always a little Maybe bit different. Yeah. And often the ice forward. changes. You know, you, we might see subtle changes to the ice as well as there's you know less people around and could get a little colder, and that often re results in slightly faster ice and, and a little bit on the straighter I, I, I side. Like Kevin Cooey here with his first in the first end at the Aztec Safety Challenge. <laughs> this one's got to go oh, a little. Oh Oh, I think, we I, got it. I think we burned it. Burned rock. There's oh. something we don't see very often. No. Okay. In the first end at the Aztec Safety Challenge. This one's got to go a little. Oh, oh I, think I, we got oh, it. I think we burned it. As the guys throw the rock That's down, wrong. there's oh. something we oh. don't see. Brad Jacobs now. I think I just got behind it a little too much. 
trying to force yeah, okay. Team Cooey. Okay. What's the play here, guys? After a, a burn like that, you've got... Settle everybody down again and back at her. That's, uh, that's tough. I you know, always feel bad when you, when you burn a teammate's rock. Um, I know Ryan's done it to me. So it all happens. <laughs> it's probably for the best most of the time, anyways. <laughs> but now, so. uh, as far as the Crothers team, like this is a great opportunity here to get that force, or maybe even steal. Like if they could bury one top four, top four, top button, forces a really tough uh, run back here. Brad Jacobs settling in for his final rock here in one, looking to bring this. I would assume very close to the button or top four foot in behind cover. Yeah, wrap this right around and try and protect the pin. The guys are just starting to clean it now as we get to the hog line, looking for it to curl. Trying to get the, as much Go ahead, curl. Derek. Now they're starting Never to hammer on it. a little Come bit on. Harder. harder. Trying to draw this under cover. Ran trying pretty, to bury ran, it. Ran pretty straight there. It did run quite straight, but again, did get it somewhat yep, under cover. It looks like it's right close to the center line. Probably see about half the rock. You know, like now the real question is, does that top rock at the top of 12, is it a biter? Is it a counter? Or will this be a straight peel? No, it's not. No, it's not in. Straight peel for the blank, call. Huh? So Team Cooey, after a burned rock on Kevin's first shot, is going to get an opportunity to get out of this end you, you with guys the think blank. It's if he's oh, able to hit and roll. It's this white line. It's on the white line. What's that? Well, that's what it usually is. What we seem pretty think? confident I, that I, other rock I, is out. I never even liked that. Yeah, from the overhead camera, it did look like it was out. You think so it's out? Need to remove this one at the back of the four. It's grabbing part of that outer white. Tyler Tardy hey, is going to take another quick look on that. Reed Carruthers has already gone over and grabbed the stick. He's ready for okay. a measurement. Pay you 10 bucks. We got a $10 bet. Do we hear 20? Oh, I believe Do we hear 20? <laughs> yeah. He's been right no. most of the year. Yeah. Great friendly Friend banter between these two competitive teams. Kevin Cooey settling in. Tyler Tardy's confident that that rock is out at the top of the 12. Kevin looking firm. for the Just hit firm. roll and the blank here in one to retain hammer into the second. Eric Martin with the clean. Looks pretty, hey, good, job. pretty good. The hit and roll. And Reed Carruthers jumping in on this one quick to get a measurement to see if that one's in the rings. It's going to be very tight. Just to see how good Brian's ice or Brian's wow. rock or wing. Yeah. What did he say? I'm not sure what he said. That's a quick measure. There's the centimeter. Yeah. I thought it was we were waiting for them to tell us <laughs> I what's think it's going on. But okay. Very quick I, measurement. I <laughs> As the Let's score see goes what the up, score goes up. We have oh, got a zero-zero game. So that rock was out, everybody. <laughs> Brian's rings are true. <laughs> hey, Brian McClaskey <laughs> and John Wall have done a great job. But again, these oh, events yeah. don't happen you without outstanding sponsors, and we'd like to take a moment to thank them. Bandit Energy. Bexson Construction, Synergy Credit Union, T-Bar One, Cooperators, Jason Arden and Associates, Border Inn and Suites, the host hotel here this week for all of our teams, l and Oil Field, Velocity Truck Centers, Boundary Ford, Lloyd Minster Agribish, Agriculture Exhibition Association, Canadian Angus, Click Before You Dig, RL Electric, Fountain Tire, XL Insurance, The Tent Guys, Industrial Scientific, Musgrave Agencies, and Wild Rose Pump and Compression, the presenting sponsor of the Aztec Safety Classic here in Lloyd Minster. So a blank, guys. Team Kui holds on to the hammer as we move into two. Now he has the hammer in the even ends, which, Scott, you said, super important. Really, he'll want that. So... We have to expect yeah, now that he's going to try and get us two, if that's not three, here in the second end. Very good in the middle. Like We're going to expect a lot of rocks in play this end. I do too. Yeah. See Brad Jacobs throw a center, and I'm almost positive we'll see Kevin Cooey's team throw a nice corner guard about halfway. Mine looks good. Connor Negevin with nice his first shot. Nice and tight, boys. Oh, you were right. Five would be great. Chat, guys, 
Ian Isaacson just said there is another simulcast on Curling well, Zone wrong. that has 4,000 viewers right now. Like We'd like to thank out. everybody for tuning in on right here, Curling right. Zone. Come on. Yep. We've got people yep. tuning yep. in yep. from yep. Sydney, yep. Nova yep. Scotia. Hard. George Hart Sparks, going. thank Keep you very going. much. Janice Ainsworth, there's going to be a lot of people in Lloyd Minster not happy about this. At the Nanaimo Curling Club on Vancouver right, Island, corner, it's bombing no. zero degrees. It, it's hard to bury. <laughs> I think we would all love to be down there right now, but I know for you guys in Nanaimo, that's definitely chilly. Watching from San Francisco, not the teams I expected in the final. Awesome curling by all. Some real circus shots in the event. Well done. We agree. Hello from Tisdale. We know you guys are definitely as cold as we are right now. So appreciative to watch the games yeah, a online. A little later than I've been and, giving uh, you, but it should be close, from guys. Ottawa. Guys. And thanks so much for a great should job. Should be close. It looks fantastic. There. Job this Whoa. week. Well done. Thank you, everybody, Whoa. for tuning in online Whoa. today. We've got 767 Whoa. people on the YouTube feed on. and over 4,000 on Curling Zone right now. And I expect that to continue to grow. If you're watching it, share it on your Goodbye. social media yeah. channels. Like it, share it. Get it out there. Let's get as Good. many people out there in Canada, I'm North America, and all over the world watching these two Stop world class teams here at the Lloyd de Minster Golf and Curling Center at the Aztec Safety Challenge. Well, Kevin Cooey wasting no time at all. He saw the center guard, and they want to wrap around it right away and all get as much, as many stones Rube. as they can around that one guard. Rube. Perfect placement, Rube. too. Top eight rocks. Room right now. Cooey Clean. fashion. Eh? Room. Yeah. No bounce on this line. Line's okay. Line's good. A little bit of room, little bit of room, little bit of room. Go Guys ahead, line's okay. Go Freeze hard it. here as they're Throw trying to get it frozen to the rock in the hard, top of on, the eight. Go. They're going to have to hit go, this hard. Derek, hard. Really starting to Harder, push. Hard. Derek Samigalski going hard. Good, that's good. Not that's able good. to get the freeze. A little bit of separation there. But lined up really I well. Lined up well. Half. Good plan B. Yep. yep. Absolutely. Better than bouncing off of that, that's for sure. That's so you both. guys being two very experienced players, playing at the competitive level, skipping, playing in briars. How many yeah, plans do you have in your yeah. head with every single shot? Do you have A, B, and C? Do you have all the way up to D and E? How many different things yeah. are in your head, and how many shots ahead are you looking for? Uh, probably probably two or three shots ahead for sure. Um, now, as game plans, yeah, there's, there's probably you probably need to have at least two or three, two or three in your head dramatic. at all times, just in case if things yeah, don't go yeah, your way right yeah, off the bat, which oh, which can happen. So. It's been great to watch Kevin Cooey strategize this this weekend. Uh, I've been lucky enough to watch a bunch of Maybe his just games. Just a hair less. I just, yeah. They just wanna. They wanted to get shot rock around the middle and then draw open side. It's been a steady theme for the team. Yep. You know. And they've had outstanding execution in their oh, last five. Oh, they've played yeah, great. They, they've been red hot. The hot hands have yep. really been Kevin Cooey. Okay. Gulja. Tyler Tardy and Jacques Gauthier are digging in hard on this one. Really got to go. Trying to get hard this. Jock. Trying to split hard line Jock. two. I got 14. Hard Jock. 14 go, 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 It's go, 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 as Derek Samigalski like steps in that. for his first here in the no, second end. Now, Scott, you guys strategize different game plans all the time as you prepare Are for a game. Ours? How much preparation yeah. goes in when you've got an hour in between games? Are you, are you, if you, do you have a schedule for the day that you're, or a game plan Please. for the day that you're going to follow? Yep. Do you look to, back yep. into different games yes, you played against these teams, or do you just Hard. go with what you know has been working really for the go. week and who's got the really hot hand go. and go from Hard. there? We always try Hard. to Hard. Ma Hard. manage the ice the best we could and, and just you know be prepared for cha subtle okay. changes in the ice and little things that were going to happen. It's interesting okay, to see Derek. the strategy decisions out here from each team. They keep changing. You know, Brad, Brad Jacobs calling the game for Team Carruthers. He, hey. uh, he, he's a fantastic... <laughs> Skip and he's calling up many different yeah, shots and then asking the team like what 14? they want. Absolutely, yeah, and that, the yeah, confidence that, team. that uh, Team Crothers has in Brad coming in um, to be a part of it has to be. You're bringing in a guy like Brad who's pre-decorated, and and he's done a great job with the team. Yeah. 
as they've had a great we week. They there. have had some struggles throughout the course Stay of the year. As, yeah. as Brad's joined Wait's them, close. but now Line's good. in Wait's the good. final Wait, here at the Aztec Wait's safety Wait's challenge. Wait's challenge. Wait, wait, wait. Interesting Stay call close, here. Tight. Trying We're to still freeze there. this yellow right Just on the back. Bumping a rock. Yep. No, no. Looks like it's going to tap it a little, but... Right down nice on the shot. top of that with yep. a tap. Delayed two. Yeah. Kui laying two yellow stones. Kevin Kui's our team here. sitting two. It probably would have liked that it, to be about like four feet lighter, but uh, nothing wrong with that play at all. Doesn't it? it huh? So being Bump. guys that play a lot Gary here at the Bump. Bump. Into Bump. Center, yeah. John Wall from Walden Wall 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 Ice is coming this week. I, I just, I like Working a, along I like with a good our bump. local ice technician, Brian McClaskey and Green Lomas. What have you guys noticed on the ice conditions here? From what I've heard from some no. of the other players, no. they've said that this is as close to way. arena yeah. ice as they've played all yeah. year. Ryan, what are your thoughts? What are you seeing differently from the day-to-day -day so curling here in Lloyd Minster to curl what you experienced this week while you were playing? Well, the, the biggest the those biggest those difference was the surface itself. And it, like like you mentioned, it is very close oh. to arena like, oh. like surface, curl. very curl. crisp, very smooth on the slider. Curl. Don't have to kick out very hard to, to throw a, a nice draw weight shot. And, uh, really go hard. Obviously, they sanded the rocks before the event. Ooh. Ooh. Miss Q there. Do that good, Derek. Okay, we'll wait in here. What oh, was that? A freeze. freeze. A little bit of a miss Q there, yeah. but as you said, they did sand the rocks down. Yeah. So by sanding okay. the rocks down and making sure the edges are really tight, the speed's what the does that do here? for yeah. you as a, as a competitive player? What change does that bring to your game? Well, you, you got to make sure you, you get out to, definitely get out to the broom through. and you throw a positive yeah. release with, with a lot of handle. Uh, yeah, because you, had, yeah, it's three you throw it like forward. typical club ice where you only throw no, two no. rotations, oh, your rock's going to go absolute right. sideways, especially towards, uh, you know, as your draw, draw shot's getting near the end of the, to its nearest destination, right? So uh, it's very important to have good handle on, uh, on Wait, rock close. with rocks that, good, that guys. are yep. freshly Wait, sharpened. Good. Yep. Good. 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 Okay. Throwing yep. here for Team oh, Cooey. We're right to it. Can't hurt it for line. Line's good. And Carrick Martin oh, yeah. on yeah. the sweep. Curl. Yeah. Wanting this to curl, curl. not That's wanting a good. bounce off or a miss. Just tracked a little bit on him. Let's say here straighter. Oh, come on, Ran a little straighter. Did he get third, though? Nope. Nope. Just Team Cooey it's, sitting it's two. A little bit of a break. <sighs> Team now Carruthers what? sitting third rock on the outside of the 12 foot. You're going to be. The skipper getting in there with a good sweep yeah, from Team Carruthers. I like that. <laughs> Don't see that often from hey, Brad Reed, Jacobs the only other getting in there. But that's how much this game roll. means to these guys. And the purse that, that they're playing for tough? here this week, for all the teams Brutal. playing for a $100,000, winner in this game okay. is going to take home $26,000. Well, like this the is the biggest event on the World Curling okay. Tour from a purse standpoint. Well, Hence why I think we're seeing the best teams in the world here this week. Yeah, it's... I'm just going to listen in here to see if... I think they're just, I think they're just playing the freeze. Brad on, Jacobs Kerry, asking Kerry really good, Reed Carruthers to freeze to the top of that I yellow rock on the top of the four foot. Carruthers throws his first rock Clean. here into. Clean. You'll want this frozen right to the face. Clean. Rip. Line's good. Yep. Hard line. Hard Rip line, Derek. Hard, now going hard line. Hard line, Derek. Sweep. Hard line, Derek. Hard to get by. Hard, Derek. Hard. You got it. Come on. More. As they gotta lean and second. barely get by. Really got to go. They get second. Oh, oh, pretty nice close. Shot. Pretty nice good shot sweep by from Derek Samigelski oh, as Brad Jacobs okay. was yelling for him to bad, get though. by. Just and they by. did. Oh, very, by. very close. Great replay there. The wide one. Great job by the production team in behind us. These guys have been great all week long with the replays and the work done. And uh, now put of us on for this broadcast. Yeah. So... Now, the Kevin concern. Cooey. There's some concern Are we two, here. Kev? Two calf on, two calf off. Winter jacket on as he strategizes okay. Okay. the yep. call for Dude, his third Tyler Tardy. This speed's yeah. good, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, same as draw. I'd say so, yeah. yeah. Out on the live feed, hello from yeah, Newfoundland. Yeah, I, I think it's quick Surprise. enough that much. Like, that's With the play of teams, us, great, great to be able to watch curling and hear your commentary. Yeah. Great job by all. Thank you very much. And hello from Stonewall, Manitoba, home of the Viterra Championships. So big curling action coming up later this year in Manitoba. 
Tyler Tardy. I like it. I like it. Stay, stay close, close. I expect this one to curl pretty hard. As I noticed, sheet five on the left side of the sheet uh, just curls halfway. a little bit, a little more than yeah. the other side. Yeah, it does, Ryan. Uh, yeah. We've, uh, Keep tight. We've watched the sheet a lot this week. Yeah, we've had the pleasure of doing lots of commentary on sheet hard. five. Yeah. And they do. Very Eric sweet. Martin now trying to drag this know. right to the top. Uh, Trying to align some angles here. It? Curled too much. That's fine, bud. Yeah, curled. Curled about I mean, I think that's the rock and a half that's too right. much there. Just got to bobble it up. Listen into the team. Like it's you. Or we're just well, hitting we the late second and third, bananas. but I don't think that does anything really. I thought you threw it hard enough. Yep. You threw it harder? I thought you threw it hard enough. Best I did too. I, mean, I did too. By that back button, it just like looked like the speed came off right away. Get shot in here. Did you get it out? Or straight through. Brad Jacobs calling for back four to get shot oh, rock man, here like with Reed Carruthers second shot here and like two. How to, difficult is this shot kept, coming kept, around kept, four kept, other rocks ahead of him? How difficult is this shot for Reed Carruthers? Such a precision terrible. shot. Well, you know, in a, in a typical curling club ice, uh, yeah, right. this would be a very, very difficult Mine's shot. Okay. But uh, at this wait. at this Mine's facility, right with this much curl. You could be by that rock like by, 13, you know, six in, like six inches, and you're going to be. Thirteen seven. Uh, you Sweet. could be half buried. Sweepers are staying Hard off. Kevin. It looks like it is heavy. As Kevin Cooey okay, steps in to drive this thing into the 12 foot, gets a touch of the eight. Yeah. Perfect line there. Just just a little heavy. Just a touch heavy there. As I we watch the replay. Pretty close. I just. Yeah, not yeah. able to get shot one or shot two. I don't think we want much more. I think just think get her out Tyler there. Tyler Tardy, second chance to try and wrap yeah, under that. these staggered rocks, Kyle, right in the top four foot area. Even half tuck under here would be pretty good, eh, right? Absolutely. Yeah, don't need to be fully buried. Just showing half is uh, is a great shot here. Tyler Tardy settling in for his second shot here in the I second end. Lots well, right now to get know. to the. Back of the four right foot to be shot. Just Five only. Just stone. Wait, it's good. Yeah, T on its own right now. T back four. Carrick Martin, Coach no, 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 no. It's close. Don't starting want to. to clean don't want this to. one. Wait's good. We don't want to. Wait is good. Just a matter of time. Now they need to finish. Good one shot, here. Buddy. Terrific shot. What nice a shot. shot there by Tyler Tardy. Great judgment. As you Great said, Ryan, doesn't need to be fully buried. Showing half the rock out there right now. Yeah. Now for Brad Jacobs. What's the play here? Is he trying to just follow him down, it sounds like. Freeze it. You can even corner freeze it, eh, Ryan? Just well, the problem is with only being half buried, if you only if you only freeze the corner, then you know, that would leave uh, the Kuwait team with another opportunity to maybe chop and roll off that. So now it's makes this freeze even harder because it's only half buried. You have to get right to the nose of this. Obviously for Team Crothers wanting to get a force here, get the hammer back in their hands and limit the damage to one. Reed Crothers trying to work with Brad Jacobs here as the four stones are gonna be thrown, trying to find a way to get two or more. Brad Jacobs settling in here for his first shot in the second end. Stone cold and laser focused as he hands it off to his front end. Mine's good. Mine's good, I think. Mine's good. This is the fourth stone on, on this exact path. I expect this to slide pretty nicely. Guys are starting to clean it hard now. Hard. Really critical shot here. Mine's good. Really need to get this to the top of that rock in the forefoot. Derek digging in. What nice a shot. shot. Right on top of that by Brad Jacobs here in the second end. Incredibly managed by the sweepers and and, uh, and Reed call, calling the line there. That not an easy one to call on that. Great shot by I'm just looking how Team Corrupt. Well, now take a second to listen in to Kevin Cooey and Tyler Tardy as they strategize this next shot. I don't think he could have made that freeze any better. It's as good as he could do, Rai. Buried, a, buried a, a third under. I 
think they're looking at that uh, what, that rock that's biting the top four, whether they can maybe slash that into the red. All right. That'd be right like that. That'd yeah. be a special yeah. shot. It's there. It's there for we can potential, see potential three, Ryan. Well, could lead to that, yeah. yes. I love this. You, uh, you got Back uh, line. You guys huh? are saying it's there. He has I a have quarter. no idea yeah, how you think got, it's there because I know I don't have that gets, shot in my bag. You can just see an just edge of shade. this yellow right there where you see Kui puts his broom. All, all, the, all you need Ooh. for these guys, all they need is just, all they need is an inch. Yeah, the Pieces. All they need is an inch. <laughs> in the words of Ryan Dice, all they need is an inch here as you can see an inch of that yellow rock. <sighs> What's what our kind weight, of weight is Kevin going to be throwing yeah, here, guys? Yeah. I love this. I love this shot. I heard, quarter, I heard about back. Uh, okay. Do you hear hack? Still back line? Little heavy in here I would say with that ice, it's probably I, back I line think to we've hack. Had enough, it's yeah. not. Yeah. yeah, I would say the same, Should Ryan. Okay. Just a nice soft weight hit to catch that curl. I had yeah. Get a proper yeah. redirection of his what, board or yellow board. rock that's board. biting yeah, the top I four. I think that. I think should be good. It's Kevin Cooey settling in for his first rock here in two. Looking for an angle raise. He can see an inch of it's that good. yellow rock. Oh, oh, oh. Just about the four foot. Oh, okay. oh. Josh Board. Handing it over to Jacques Gauthier and Carrick Martin. Josh Board. Tyler Tardy calling the line. Girl, 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 girl. Really really Digging close. in. The touch. Nice Great shot. shot, Kev. What a shot from Kevin Cooey. Great shot for two. Currently well, sitting two nice. with two shots to come. The beauty. These guys nice trading blows here in the second end. Now Brad Jacobs and Reed Carruthers. What's Brad got? Trying to strategize the next play. What a shot there. That was great touch. Great touch by Kevin Cooey to lay two. That's a busy, a lot of rocks in those rings. It's a real busy house. There's nothing really to freeze to here. Or almost nothing to freeze to. You almost have to play an in off on that red, wouldn't you say? Let's have a listen in and see what. See what Brad and Reed are talking about as they get ready to throw their final rock here in two. Trying to force Kevin Cooey to one. As he can see, I'd say a quarter of that rock sitting in the four foot, guys. Try that yellow, yellow double, I think, Ryan. And yeah, you're, yeah. Slash. He's trying to, I think he's trying to slash that over to the other yellow that's biting the eight foot off to the yeah. side there. It's, it's a really thin shot if... Uh, to concede a deuce. Yeah. Now, being a thin shot coming in off that yellow, oh, is he hoping to jam on his own red to keep that shooter rock in play? Yes. I think so, but it, it, it might be so thin he, he might hit the bottom of that red and he might sh scoot out. But I think the goal at the end is hopefully the top, top eight red rock will be the... Uh, second shot. As Brad Jacobs settles in for his final shot here in the second end. It's on its way as he hands it off to his front end. The hit. And he doesn't get the second one down in the eight foot, but the Red Rock is second, sitting second shot right now. Is there an open hit for three here, guys? Really close, and uh, Tyler Tardy seems to think it's uh, their third, so um, looks appears to be an open hit for three. Tyler Tardy and Kevin Great. Cooey have made their decision quick, so obviously they do feel they're sitting one and three right now. A big opportunity for Team Cooey to get on the board here in the second come? end the big and looking three. for three. Three. Opportunity okay. available. Great patience there by these teams and with nope. Hammer. I Wait for their opportunity. To take it. This would be a well-earned three-point for board? Team board? Cooey as uh, that previous yeah. shot that Cooey made was like that. <laughs> really set this up. Kevin Cooey now settling in for his second at the Aztec Safety Challenge here in the second end. Wade's perfect. Yeah. Looking Good board. for Good board. a hit and stick yep. for yep. three. Yep. 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 Got to go. 
Keep it off that line, buddy. Keep it off that line. You gotta go. Really gotta go. Into the house. Really gotta go. Really gotta go. Really gotta go. Go, 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 go. He gets the hit and roll. Boy, Kev. And Kevin Cooey gets his three here in the second end. Big shot for Good these team, guys. Brother. As we get to the end of the second at the Aztec Safety Challenge, it's Team Cooey three versus Team Carruthers. No score. We will pause for a moment for some commercials and thanks to our sponsors. Like people, businesses have their journey, their path, sometimes straight, but more often evolving, growing, and adapting to a changing world. Creating the need for knowledge in areas like accounting, consulting, tax, technology, areas critical to your continued growth and success. All part of the journey, all part of what we do together with you. Because your success is the destination. MNP, wherever business takes you. back for the third end here at the Aztec Safety Challenge, proudly brought to you by Wild Rose Pump and Compression here at the Lloyd Minster Golf and Curling Center in Lloyd Minster, Alberta, Saskatchewan. We just saw an outstanding shot from Kevin Cooey to get three guys, a game starter here in the second end with a big, big three swing for Cooey. How does Team Carruthers bounce back here in the third? What do they need to do to get themselves back in this game? Oh, just establish the corner guard and, you know, you don't have to go crazy hard. Four. You know, don't have to get three right back necessarily. Just make sure you get your two, get multiple points, and then uh, just keep grinding hard throughout this game. Patience and process. Absolutely, Kyle. A two here for Team Carruthers puts them right back into the game. It'll be interesting to see if they want to set up one, two corners on the same side or, or split the rings. Let's see what they decide. You know, yeah. I think the key part when you guys, when you get to this level and you're playing in these events and, and like you do, you strategize, you prepare, you do all these things to be mentally and physically ready to play at this level. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what sport. Process is everything. Last, and you hear like great it. coaches I in the world talk about the process close, it good. takes to be ready to go to perform. And, and again, well, trust in your which is, again, well, obviously paramount for these two teams right now. Fighting well, for. How does uh, Kevin Cooey, well, now well, up three, Let does his die. strategy change? Does he go to a little bit more of a defensive game, or does he Good keep shot. the hammer hey, down? You know, well, de definitely, w definitely will be a little bit more defensive, but at the same time, you know, with the five rock rule, like, right. uh, you can't only rely on the hit game the rest of the way. They're gonna still have to play, you know. They're gonna still have to play some offense, Even them off, uh, just because the game forces it, card, forces them to. Great Even setups like that will help Mine's Kyle okay. Ryan. We're going. Two terrific Mine's shots good. here by lead Carrick Martin. Mine's good. Three, consistent two, with his setup, consistent with his draw weight, and try and Mine's good. choke off that forefoot if he Maybe, has to. Uh, curl yeah. If he has to, he can. can. And a, lot, a big part, a big part of yep. team defense is actually your leads. Oh. Your lead has to place a couple of really good stones off to, to start each end to, to right, make an effective defensive play for the, same speed for the rest of the team for, a, for the remaining of the end. It's, it's, no, if it's your rocks are not good fast, spots off the start, yeah, then you have to start being aggressive. Kevin Cooey going to throw a tight center guard here on Jacques Gauthier's first rock in the third end. Easy early, easy early. Okay. Yeah. It's been great, guys. You know, we can Two -thirds. hear the teams and yeah. all the, good. how Two they thirds. deliberate these shots. I mean, Where do we got a curl. That's the best place we can put these rocks. Absolutely. Yeah. Really got to go, Kirk. So I got a question. Really got to go, Kirk. I'm a big curling fan. Not a great player, but a big fan. Keep going. The guys from Manitoba all have these corn brooms, and their delivery always seems to be very much it's over sweet. their toe. <laughs> what's the what? background behind this? What's the story? You guys got to know what's going on here. That's a that's this that, is the, the that's a that's a long history deep history within Manitoba. 
the Manitoba tuck delivery. Really yeah, good. Yeah, it's, it's gone back generations in that, in that province. Yeah. Yeah. Like yep. so All of these guys, predecessors to the guys that are out here now. Was Barry Fry that way too? He was. Yeah. They'll teach these well, young curlers to slow on their tide, they, on, on their, to slide on their toe. They won't teach them a flat foot slide, Kyle. Matt Dunstone. Yeah, perfect example. Mike McEwen. Derek Samagalski. Oh, Derek Samagalski. <laughs> Jock Goche. All these guys with these Girl. picked up corn brooms. Can't buy them anymore. So where the heck are they finding them? Okay. <laughs> they're Grab they're, tape, yeah, they're yeah. taping okay, them up, too. You can see by... Maybe specially made. Great run back. Made, attempt maybe. here by Derek. Can make it. You can see him Bird, with his... Yeah. Yeah. Same shot. Just missing on the Hair way. higher maybe, yeah. Yeah, you don't see the tuck delivery t talk too much in Alberta or Saskatchewan. You you, you do see the odd one, but uh, it, it's it's pretty rare. Lonnie Armstrong still does that. Oh, that's Modi right. But he's more of a modified yeah. tuck. Yeah. Modified tuck. Yeah. Yeah. The modified tuck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, similar. Awesome to, yeah. to have some local yeah. flavor yeah. in the event this yeah. week. Monty Armstrong having Mine's the opportunity good. to play with his two sons. Put the center. Ryan. Just across yeah. the hair left. Curl in a bit, guys. Easy. And then Ryan on the Easy, easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just, just doesn't have to curl. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Whoa, challenge. whoa, good there, good there. Just listen a little good. bit on what your experience was like playing in the game today. Oh, it was, it was fantastic to too. play against a lot of these top teams here. Like, right off the bat, we had, you know, had to go up against the reigning, defending Actually, Olympic champions and Nicholas Adin and <laughs> happened to have a pretty, you know, we... Came down for, last rock. Yeah, came down last rock. We had to force him to make a, make a good one, right? So, um, no, we were... Glad to be part of this first yep. first ever Aztec safety Whoa. challenge. Yep. And hopefully no. we see a lot more of this Whoa. going forward. Nice shot. Oh. The Tremendous nice. shot. Take out of two, cleans up the house. Derek has thrown a lot of big weight shots this week. Had the opportunity to watch Carruthers and call Top Carruthers eight. games throughout the week. Yeah. Another nice. big shot there. Nice yep. run back double. Yeah. Speed's good in here, buddy. It's his bread and butter, that's for sure. I'd say so, yeah. Really yeah. good. Yeah. Now, Tyler Tardy nice. with your first shot here in the third end. Looking for the draw in around covers. We've got four red rocks way outside guarding this. The time to come inside. The wall of red to draw around. I got a little late. <laughs> yeah, if you're cooing, you got to be a little yeah, bit nervous. Tight. You know, you got nothing yeah. up front. And <laughs> tight. <laughs> A lot of reds to run back. <laughs> really digging in here. Carrick Martin, Jock Gauthier getting it around. The, now trying to drag it, <laughs> it into the top of the house. What Big, a sweep. What a sweep to get it there on the center line in the top 12. Do the four think? reds for we hit that rock. Team Carruthers, is that a bit of a problem for them, even though they're their own rocks right now? Or just more options rock. for angle raises and everything else? Well, these teams like the, they're they're very uh, I think was like uh, the Carruthers teams they're very good at the run back game. So I, I don't think they're this weekend. they're too concerned that um, you know they have these longer guards in play. Uh, now with this one only being top twelve, it's uh, like, presents more options I'm now sure for the Carruthers walk. team. That's for sure. That Absolutely. one's courtesy of extra chicken and a tortellini. Yeah. Ah. I'm looking at these ones. Like, can you get one in I don't here anymore. I owe you five maybe after that. You're thinking of playing Which, a tap on these you, like, tap and read this? <laughs> Listen in here to the Carruthers team. Such a rat. I had that, uh, post, I'm going to pass had that draw shot got to the you four foot, it. it would have been an automatic uh, run back attempt. But being it's just oh. barely in the 12 foot, it, it creates other options yeah. here for the Carruthers yeah. team. Let's see which one they want to play. It see is. what rock they'll commit to to play the tap up. That's the hardest one. If they Hold can. On. What's that? It's honestly sneaky good, eh? There's a hole there, right? Uh, that intern draw doesn't look easy. Yeah. If they can tap yeah. a red stone um, in behind the, the yellow counter right now hmm? into the forefoot, like great opportunity I, to I, score multiple. If you could get that into here, okay. the guard, I think that's our best result, isn't it? I school. do too. So they want to push so the center guard. Center. I think you're throwing like, like back eight. They're going to want to tap that center guard. Sure. Yeah. I like this so call. You're trying All to right. hit with the out like two thirds. What's he playing? They need a great call here. Let's watch. Reed Carruthers, 
first stone in the third end. Brothers team with hammer. This accomplishes two things. One, to get the rock off the center line because they have the hammer. And the other to get the rock buried. The angle raised, Just needs trying to, to get stop. this to settle. That's got us. That's got to stop. Touch heavy and it a little does far. Just roll out. out. Double play. Just does open up the center though. It does, yeah, like it, that's it still, you know, that's not the worst miss in the world. You got, you, 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 you've established two sets of corners now. Kui will Kay. Kay. draw around Kay. the staggered pair. Kui's gonna have to rely on yep. getting one buried here okay. to get the force, so otherwise. Times, uh, but it's pretty good. Brothers team is gonna I'd say yeah. it's pretty much the same. smell yeah, blood and so. possibly get a couple here. Yeah. Kui's gonna want to draw around yeah. these staggered yeah, corner guards just to. There's no, uh, no, no run back on the staggers. He can just draw around and as long as he's in the rings and in good, great position, no threat of a run back over e there, guys. Excellent point. Yeah, like no run backs are even available if you sink this. Tyler Tardy here. Still got late. I know I like Still it. Good. I like second. It. I like it. I like it. In the third end. Wait's close. Good. Wait's good. For the top draw eight. around top the two guards. Four. Top four. Just a yeah. top four. Just going to speak to the just a hair straighter for this final Curl. already, Ryan. Yeah. 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 Than it was yeah. in the semi. Yeah. Trying to get this around that yellow rock. Touching. Just a little missing rub the there. No, Scott. I wasn't all that surprised that that rubbed like that. That's the. I'd say that's the straightest spot of the whole sheet right there. Is that the edge of four. Going to the scoreboard. Great replay nice, here. Nice little Good. Wick. Nice little wick. Wait was perfect. We noticed that last night in the quarterfinals. Did it will. I think we're going to notice it as our final game wears on here. Only one game on the ice, which means just a little bit colder, just a little bit straighter. We'll see how that plays out. Brad Jacobs calling on Reed Carruthers to hit that yellow and roll in under cover on the other side of his two guards. For you guys, this is an everyday shot. <laughs> oh, For a guy like that. me, this is, I'm just trying to hit rock. I hope we can go out there and throw some rocks after this is all done, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> well, I haven't stretched yet, Scott, so <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see. You never know what might happen. As Reed Carruthers gets ready to throw his Whoa. second here in the third Whoa. end, looking Whoa. for a hit and roll Whoa. under cover. Curl still. Curl, Derek. Derek Whoa. with the sweep oh, 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 Very oh, oh, close. Oh, oh. Stay with the right. Stay with the right. Need yep, the yep, roll. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, Connor more, Nagevin. More, Con. More, nice more. Shot. Keep going. Great sweep. Really Gets it under cover oh, in the bottom of the eight foot. Great shot there from Reed Carruthers. Probably as Team two. Carruthers is sitting one right now. He's lost in the forest over there. Yeah. <coughs> Nice hit and roll. Nice to get behind He's two good guards. In here, I'd say. Yeah, I think so too. Get as far out as he can behind those two. Fully buried. Yeah, Leaving Kui the, the freeze opportunity here. Draw. This will be Kevin Kui's first rock. First rock in the third end. Just wanting to freeze right on top of the red. Haven't seen a lot of shots here, guys. No, oh, this will be a fairly new path right over the face of that yellow rock at the top of the 12. Kevin Cooey with his first trying to get the freeze on the Carruthers rock sitting in the eight foot. And Scott Goshi and Karen Martin getting the sweep on here. Trying to sneak it by the red guard. They've done that. Now past the yellow as they try and get it right on the face of that what a, rock. What a shot. What a shot by uh, Kevin Cooey. A little bit of a bounce there, but like has the, the backing. Support, eh? Quickly, shot Brad Jacobs throw. is calling for himself to throw another one right in on top of that yellow. <clears throat> Great brush there by uh, Goche to hold that and from over curling. That was, that was in danger of the guard. Oh. Great to hear teammates encourage each other on the sweep, Ryan. Love to hear that. So just, Brad Jacobs will want this rock frozen right to this yellow. Maybe even a little high side, Ryan, just to make sure he shot rock. 
try and generate a skipper's deuce here. Brad Jacobs. Extra second in the hack here. Want to be 100% sure your shot, 100% focused. These guys playing for the championship here at the Aztec Safety Challenge. Brad Jacobs looking to sit on top of that <coughs> Cooey Rock sitting in the eight foot. Hands it off to his lead. Rose! And second, Derek Samigelski. Definitely a little more room on this one than, uh, than what Cooey had. Reed Carruthers calling line now, calling them on hard to get it past this Red Rock. Really needing to go here. This has got to go for weight. Pushing this hard, Derek digging in. And it will come up short as Team Cooey is still sitting shot rock. That's a costly mistake for Not Team Carruthers. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. Like, uh, just play this? Sweepers seem to think off the bat that the weight was fine. Or I didn't hear any concern forwards. either, and all of a sudden it, it just pulls up light. That's well, what he is. Too. Okay. So for Team Cooey, what's the play here, guys? What's he trying to set up? Yeah, I, don't I think he just wants to make sure he establishes and lies too yeah. here. Well, yeah, that's, that's right, Ryan. Just uh, tie. Again, we're, we're back to this part yeah, of the ice. Heavy, Kevin Cooey's going to want to draw down to the forefoot and bury him. Let's hear a little yeah, chat. Looks like more. Kevin's yeah. taking a real outside line here. Really wide, Kyle. We haven't seen this path yet. Okay. When you haven't played a path like this the whole game and it's extremely outside, does like he need path. to have a touch more weight? Same is this going to float on him? What well. goes I, through your mind as you're playing on this shot? It, uh, I don't. It yeah, definitely it won't float out here. It's gonna actually gonna. It's gonna curl pretty hard out here. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's going to. It's gonna be. A, it should be a little slower here. Watching Kevin Cooey come down into the hack, we can hear him discuss this weight call with his front end. The consensus was an extra three more. feet. Same. I got lost. Kevin Cooey with his line final only. rock here in three. Only ever line. Trying to get only ever a line fighter time. on the forefoot. Only ever line. Only ever line. Weight's really good. I expect this Weight's to snap good. pretty good, good at the end. Weight is good. Ryan calling back for it to snap eight. here. We're, we're just back four. Waiting for this to curl. Now it's starting to go. Shot. Big shot, shot by nice Kevin shot. Cooey. Yeah. Great touch. As he gets that in on the forefoot. I think it poked out the other side, but uh, excellent play. Gonna, gonna create the force here anyways. Reed Carruthers and Brad Jacobs trying to strategize what they need so they do not give up a steal of two to Kevin Cooey. Having just come up short on his last draw, what goes through your mind if you're Brad Jacobs going through the hack right now? Probably could have left a little higher here. Right? I think you just gotta trust the process, trust what you got, you know. Still pretty straight here, like. You know, obviously the sweepers are gonna give him some feedback. Um, this is going to be the straightest spot on the sheet, so I expect this to be, a, a, like, the speed's going to hold up pretty well in this spot. World good force. Really good Canadian force. champion. Played in the Olympics. Yeah. Won the Olympics. Won the Olympics. Yeah. Now he's trying to win the Aztec Safety Challenge. <laughs> Big shot here in three for Brad Jacobs with Team Carruthers. Final rock here in three. Really important shot here for the... Carruthers team. As we hand it off to the sweepers. We got lots of rotation. Roof. Just for weight. Line's good. Line is good. As these guys are now getting on it hard. Wanting to get it right to the top of that yellow rock. Line's nice good. Shot. What a shot by Brad Great Jacobs. Shot. Facing Brad Jacobs. two as he gets his one point. Here in the third, big shot, confident shot for Brad Jacobs. Great rebound. Make that shot all the way into the yeah, range guys, just yeah, to make forward. sure to solidify the one. He knew he could Call be just shot, a half a pound heavier on that shot. Great execution, Great well played. Now as we head into the third end break here, uh, we can't do these great things without terrific sponsors. And we have them here in Lloydminster, Bandit Energy, Bexon Construction, Synergy Credit Union, T-Bar One, Cooperators, Jason Arden and Associates, LNL Oil Field, Velocity Truck Center, The Goat 1061, Boundary Ford, 
Canadian Angus, Lloydminster Agriculture Exhibition Association, the Players Tour, Click Before You Dig, and many more as our presenting sponsor is Wild Rose Pump and Compression here at the Aztec Safety Challenge in Lloydminster, Alberta, Saskatchewan. Also a longtime sponsor of Team Cooey. Yes, they have been. Rod Wild and Rini have been here all week down in the MNP VIP section as many people and have been here the entire week taking in this opportunity. And again, the crew's done such a great job out here creating an atmosphere. We've got bleachers over here on the edge of sheet two, the MMP um, VIP area over beside sheet seven, creating an atmosphere. Last night I had the opportunity to talk to some curlers. They were wondering if we could set up like the uh, waste management hole 16, if we could set that up. <laughs> As one of the, the sheets next year, right, and uh, maybe, maybe, sure. maybe, yeah, especially like for the, uh, the quarterfinals <laughs> and the semifinals, um, you know, if they don't hit the shot that the crowd wants, well, you're going to get booed. If they hit a great shot, lots of applause. If they, uh, well, you can't get a hole in one, so I guess if it's a draw to the button, everyone will throw their beer on the ice. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> but uh, some awesome opportunities to for the fans to interact with these little, players here, which isn't normal in a, in a classic curling rink like this, to be able to be able to interact with the players and, and hear what they're saying and be involved in the game. So definitely a great atmosphere this week, and, and thank you to everyone who's joined us here in Lloydminster for this awesome event. And to those yep. of you online, yep. you're in for a treat Curly as we're three ends yep. in. It's 3-1 for Team Cooey. Cooey does yeah, have the I'll hammer the here in four. Opportunity for Cooey to score. Big end here in four. Guys, what do you look for? Are you looking to find two or three here and really stretch this game out? You know, even even just scoring here for Team Cooey is, is, is a huge advantage for Mine them. Uh, giving up a steal one a even would uh, definitely give the Crothers team uh, some momentum back. So uh, just very important to score, I think, for the, the Cooey team in this end. In the middle, so yeah, they're going to throw the extra guard just to make so sure that I like it. Leave a little they're going to go all out this end. All out for a hard <laughs> steal. As you guys mentioned, you want to have hammer and eight. Right now, Cooey has the hammer in the even end. So mm -hmm. anticipation is he's going to try and push this one to where he can get some points and extend his lead here in the fourth end. For sure, Kyle. He's going to want to score a multiple here. We're going to see uh, Team Carruthers do everything they can to to score, oh try and create it's, it's a, not, an opportunity that the allows them to good. one point and they're right back into this game. So we're going to see what they'll. Well, if you can. What opportunity? Very important for for Carrick's uh, lead stones here to be in, in good spots. Make the. You know, Derek Samigelski's taps uh, as difficult as possible. Whoa, whoa. Just below the S. Right this on. one should overbury yep. a little more than his yep. first. <laughs> nice shot there. Okay. That's okay. Shot. Good shot there from Carrick Martin. Yeah, good spot. As he gets that to the center line just in the eight foot. Really that one, the ice clean that like one looked that like it grabbed too. a little bit then. I, I, little pick. I, just visually watching that come down, like I thought that. for sure that was going to be at least in the middle of the Aztec logo and uh, came up just a little short. Yeah, it's really perfect. You just kind of grab yeah. it up. Yeah. Yeah. Now an opportunity here to make a little tap back here and get the rocks behind the tee line. Derek not getting the chance to throw the big weight here with his first, Holy. throwing a controlled weight. Mine's good. Weight Connor only. The top one. Connor Nagevin yep. and Reed Carruthers yep. on you the can, sweep yep. here. Brad Jacobs calling line. Yep. Line's good. Oh. Line's good. Line's good. You can go if you want. You can go, yep. Freeze it. You got a good one. You got to go line. You got to go line. Come on. Need to get Our this line. right there. Digging in. Great sweep. That's nice a good shot, spot. Derek. Brad a really Jacobs good shot. calling a great sweep. I'll call a great sweep too. Great job yeah. there. As I don't go for both. Derek Samigelski you know, gets that one get just everything. in the eight foot for second shot rock. Guys playing in their eighth game of the weekend. How tired is those front end arms? Do you feel it in a game in the final? Or are you so jacked up to play in the final, you're not feeling it at all. You slap a little deep cold and eight five, That's right. five and away you go. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, That's you're, right. you're playing for a lot of extra money. I believe se second yeah. is what, 18,000? 18,000 for second, so, so 26,000 for first. I won. Yeah, so eight, playing for an extra eight grand, you know, you know, you could rest, rest tomorrow. Yeah. Pain is good. A lot yeah. of motivation Pain there. Pain is so. good. <laughs> yeah. Now, you say, yes, rest tomorrow. I agree with you, Ryan. But both of these teams are getting geared up for the Grand Slam in Red Deer this upcoming week. On Tuesday morning, 
Team Carruthers is going to go up against Team White at 8 a.m. And Team Cooey well, will play at 3 o'clock against you don't have to kill the, the line. reigning, defending world champion Nicholas Dean. Yeah, uh, at 3 o'clock move. as these guys are heading off to that big event. But again, we have got some unfinished business Mine's Mine's here at the Aztec curl, Safety curl, Challenge. Curl. Yeah, I don't think either of those curl. teams are thinking about that at the moment. This is a this is worth a lot to the, for both teams, I think, to, to win this spiel. The There's a lot of pride in the line, too, in winning a spiel. Like, finishing second is never a good feeling. So They're really going to try and finish this one out. Guys, it's been uh, some great action here. You see Kui just keep running off the top here and keep it as simple as he can for his bit, team right now. Bit. Good. Right, a little bit in the driver's seat right now, two up with Hammer, playing the fourth end. So here's an interesting question for you guys. Do you love to win or hate to lose? Scott? Love to win. Love to win, Ryan? I'm the opposite, hate to lose. <laughs> hate to lose. <laughs> yeah. There you go, yeah. two very competitive <laughs> curlers. <laughs> Scott Manners and Ryan Dice, former teammates when they went to the Briar and represented Saskatchewan in Saskatoon. Very different opinions. Love, we, hate, love to win, hate to lose. Love yeah, the game. Yeah, Lo we, loving this game's led me all over Canada to play it. I'm very grateful for this opportunity. It's uh, Gabe, grateful to have the headset the on my head. Uh, it's Kyle funny you asked that question. Mine's good. That, yeah, that, that's Mine's been brought good. up to us a couple of times over the years, so I already knew what Scott's like, answer was. Oh, you beat him to it. Yeah, You knew where he was going. Yeah, yeah. Come on. And he knew my answer too, so... There you go. Come on. This has really got to go to go over the hog line. Really needing to dig in here. There's something you don't see very often at this level. Reed Crothers hogs that rock. His first here in the fourth end. See what happened, boys. This is another. It happens. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it happens. I hate to speak to it. I know I've done it, and I know how I feel when I do it. So we'll just you know, uh, continue on with the play here and. That's Cooey's still in the driver's seat here, right? That's a hard shot, though, having it to is. throw a, a high guard on top of a, a short guard. Uh, it's it's an underrated easy. shot that you have to make because if you well, throw I, it real short like that, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of a goat. Um, but at the same time, if you're a little bit heavy, it makes double peel really easy, and you're also the goat on that, too. Right? Absolutely, Tyler Tardy clearing out wow. that guard at the top. Now for Brad Jacobs. It's going to... Force. What is he going to call gonna, from Reed Carruthers here after that miscue on his first shot? Well, let's listen in here. Roll up the top. Talk, See what the conversation yeah. is. But that's the best play. I think at this moment they're going to, they're just going to hope, Bump. hope and pray for just not not giving up two here. I think they're even going to be content if it's going to be a blank end here. Honestly, they would be content with that, Ryan, just to carry this action over into into the fifth. Because giving up two is, is no good here. Reed Carruthers settling in for his second shot here in the fourth. Girl, girl. Looking to run his own red back in on that yellow. Hard, Derek hard, Samigalski hard. hard on the sweep oh, here. Hard. Trying to keep this on line as whoa, it drifts whoa. over. Oh, nice shot. Oh, Takes out the yellow. Nice. Good shot. It's a good shot. Good shot as... Just Ruthers gets it back here with his second shot. It's good to keep that all in a line. Yeah. You ever hit and roll sweeping big it like real control? hard just to just hold that line. Hammer it on the nose. Just over, over, good. over rolled by good. like not even half a stone. Yeah. That's what I like too. Let's watch. Okay. Listen into the Kui team. Do you take I think they both. I think they all splash out here, don't they? I think the call was Ryan. Just they, they want to hit an, at least a th third shot. We've got Tyler Tardy here. He's going to throw probably a six-second throw here. Really right? goes, like Just that. effortless for these guys to throw peel, Ryan. It's been a great weekend of that to watch him play peels. Tyler Tardy is going to come down right. here. This is good. We'll listen in as Tyler and Kevin discuss what to do with Tyler's go. second yeah, shot here in the fourth beach, end. Like I think the concern is whether that middle You're red is going to stay around, stay around or not. It could pull and it could stay jam on the yellow. I kind of like... Control. Yeah, roll big. something over. His out turn off the line here should be pretty, pretty friendly. Hey. 
Do we know what we're going to see here, guys? I uh, I think I heard like some quieter weights hit the top twelve, hit the top twelve rock and roll to the side. Like that, right? I think they feel like the double's not there. They think the they feel like the middle red one's going to squish into the yellow and, and jam. So there's no point in attempting the double. Tyler Tardy selling in for his second Hard shot board. here in the fourth end at the Aztec Safety Challenge. Curl. Got a curl. Hard, 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 hard. Mr. Curl. Carrick Martin is hard on the sweep here. Okay, not bad, bud. Gets the single. Are we trying this Just a little bit hot, I think, is what uh, they indicated on the throw. Yeah, just a hair. Just a hair up. Just outside middle. Yeah, thick cap's great, eh? Right here. So we'll listen in on the yeah. brothers' team. Good opportunity to get the force here now. If you can split the rings, split, yeah, lay two. Brad Jacobs throwing the jacket away and getting ready to throw his first rock here in the fourth end. This is a big shot here. Gets the yellow out, pops it. Now Kevin Cooey. What's going yeah, through his good, mind? Yeah. Is he still trying to score here, guys, or is he looking this to get the blank the and move on? There. I think this is the, a okay. great opportunity to get that blank here. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's going to want the blank and move on. Yeah, We're going to yeah, see Cooey fashion here to throw the high hard one and eliminate both reds. You guys are boring, playing blanks. It's about scoring here, boys. We want some points. <laughs> Tell that to Kevin. <laughs> yeah, that's well, right. if, if he could hear me right now, maybe <laughs> he can through his mic. I don't know. But uh, no, totally understand what Kevin's looking for is he's looking to hold on to the hammer going into the fifth end. Trying to get some movement on these two red rocks. Obviously wants his shooter to leave too. Yeah, yeah he'll yeah, throw. It's the only way to make it. Yep. Really threw this hard. Hard. There's some hard. big weight from Kevin Cooey. Jacques Gauthier whoa, 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 with whoa, the sweep. Whoa, whoa. The angle's there, Ooh, the movement's there. Good. He's never okay. going, I don't think. Doesn't get the Reds to go and holds the shooter in the top of the eight foot. We could be forced here to a single. I was not expecting that. Uh, usually those are always automatic for Kevin. Unfortunate shot there is Kevin Cui doesn't get the rollout of his shooter and the double. Now, Brad Jacobs heading back for his final rock here in four. Looking for the hit and stick, trying not to set up a double and forcing Kevin Cooey to have to make a draw here in four for his single. As you said earlier, Ryan, not a bad thing to score. No, no, no it's, still, it's still not a bad situation for Cooey, but I think the, you know, there was an opportunity there to get that blank, and uh, that will, uh, you know, now, now uh, like at the end of the day, this is going to be a good good break for for the Carruthers team. We'll Brad Jacobs throwing his final rock here in four, looking for the hit and stick on that Kui rock at the top of the eight. Guys are cleaning it right up to the rock as we get the hit. And stick as Team Carruthers lies two. Just gonna check and see if they can. no good. Tyler Tardy looked over and automatically said, yeah, no good. As in, doesn't like the angles to get the double. So, it's fairly natural. I'm going to try it, I'm okay with it. If you want to throw it, I'm okay with it. Now they're going to look at it again. Is Kevin Cooey wanting to get the blank? Yeah, yeah they're contemplating it. Decision time. Gonna play you know what's a he can get make the double and the roll out to Cal to get the blank we, really, really hard shot it? but uh, you know the way these reds are kind of 
Those situated, it's uh, it's kind of somewhat natural to make that make the double and roll out. On a big wave shot like this, what is going through your mind? What's the most last thought going through your mind? What are you trying to accomplish here? Oh, get rid of the reds, but make sure, worst case scenario, if Kevin Cooey was to take a single point in the fourth end, I think he'd be okay with it, Kyle. You know, he wants the double. Girl. Kevin Cooey with his final rock, Girl. looking for Girl. the double. Girl. And the blade. Go, 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 Will go. they get it? The hit, the roll. Now Girl. we've Girl. got to Girl. dig Girl. in. Tyler Great Hardy shot, digs Dad. in. Fantastic and Kevin shot. Cooey with a massive, I can't believe I'm going to say it, blank <laughs> in the Drop fourth it. end. At the Aztec Safety Challenge, we have got an unbelievable game going on right now. Some great shot making, precision play, as Kevin Cooey has the lead. 3-1 versus Team Carruthers at the Aztec Safety Challenge, brought to you by Wild Rose Pump and Compression. We'll take a moment to thank our sponsors. The official soundtrack to Canada's only border city, 1061 The Goat. Stay connected with MyLloydMinsterNow.com. Put death by rock and roll. A Lloydminster legend. I listen all day. Everything that rocks. Time to rock. 1061, The Goat. For 90 years, Princess Auto has seen your big picture. And for 90 years, we've had the ideas and the tools to help you discover new perspectives. Because for 90 years, we've known that nothing's better than finding ways to make stuff work. Princess Auto. Ideas. Tools. Gives himself the hardest possible shot you could have. Yeah. Teenth ranked in the world versus Team Cooey, the ninth ranked team in the world, vying for the title of first winner at the inaugural Aztec Safety Challenge here in Lloydminster. For those of you just tuning in to the broadcast, thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us as it's now almost. 3.30 local time. We'd love to know where you're tuning in from. We've got over 940 people on the YouTube channel. We had an update earlier of over 4,000 people joining us on the Curling Zone Network. Thank you very much from wherever you're tuning in from. We'd love to know where as the action is heating up in the back half of this game. Scott and Ryan, what have you taken out of the first four ends as we move into the second half? Well, Feels like Briar Kevin. Kui right team definitely has control at this point, and uh, the Carruthers team is really going to have to step up, and and uh, they're going to have to put a lot of I didn't get the put a lot of pressure on Kui to to uh, battle back here. It's going to be a, this an exciting yeah. finish. I know Kui has two up with Hammer, which control. is yeah. huge right now for that team. Probably just fresh in the first and the really third. Really unfortunate yeah. that Rock yeah. went in the rings there. Uh, not the not the best start for the Carruthers team going into the fifth end. Just looking at the live chat. Good. Hey good from Lexan Sweden. Good. Wow. Lexan Sweden, thank you, Hans yeah. Nyman, for tuning in and uh, oh, watching yeah. this yeah. great yeah. battle. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure yeah. you were anticipating a Nicholas Adin in this matchup. But unfortunately, he was not able to get himself into the semis or the final as uh, he was eliminated last night in the quarters. But thank you for tuning in. We truly appreciate it. Connor Nagovin now with yeah, his Always. Good. second shot here Lights in five. Wanting to keep this outside the rings, right very close to that center line, I assume, guys. Absolutely. Curl yeah, yep. Curl ramp. Get this right Art. to the center line. They Art. can't possibly Art. take Art. it. Yep. Uh, well Atta boy. Great sweep, Reed. Good nice shot. Shot. sweep there from Reed Carruthers. Great adjustment there by Connor. And go open side. We've seen this a lot this weekend with the Kui foursome. Yeah, uh, I don't mind it. That even, even no either matter way, what, I'm good. No matter what the like scoreboard, center guard, they have hammer, they're going around. I don't see anything wrong with either. Fearless. I see like nothing both. wrong with either. You like both. 
It, Whatever you like. It's kind of nice good. in five to go the wings. I like. agree. Now, again, for those of you wondering why, <laughs> is Kevin wearing a winter jacket yeah, and a toque event. out on the right ice? Here, we have had some extreme weather conditions here in Lloydminster, Alberta, Saskatchewan, here the last few days. Um, it has been extremely chilly. Lots of vehicles Big not starting. Uh, the guys, Dallin and Vern, Ball, oh, and Vern Fall Shear from Aztec Safety, have been Ryan, the taxi Ryan, service. Never. Never. They've been getting teams four. to and from Never. the rink safely Knocking. over the last couple yeah, days. But uh, hopefully well, that really cool me. weather is going to break. Well, and uh, we'll get back to a little bit normal winter here in Lloydminster. So everyone get back well, to normal. As <laughs> Carrick Martin with the draw in behind cover. Name every the top zone. of the four foot. <laughs> Brad Good. Jacobs quickly wanting the freeze on top of that. I, think that's perfect. I believe the Jacobs team was pretty yeah, happy that they know. decided to go around the top now four on that. It, now it's an it, opportunity yeah. to make a freeze here. Keep that play to the center. A comment on the chat. Tuning uh, in clean. from Mesa, Arizona. Mary Mine's Jean, good. if you've yep. got an extra room, I Hard wouldn't line. mind coming down and playing Hard some line. golf right now. It's Hard. a little chilly Hard up everything. here. But uh, Hard I hope Hard you're Hard enjoying Hard your Hard afternoon Hard down Hard in Hard Arizona Hard taking Hard in this Hard awesome Hard curling Hard action Hard here in Lloydminster. Hard. Thank you for tuning in. Whoa, 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 I believe whoa. Arizona's got a bond spiel there in a couple of weeks' time where some, you know, there's a... Uh, uh, I think there's a couple of slam teams going that way too. Is it turn? Tempe, Arizona. You guys aren't playing and you're not taking me? Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can coach you. You guys play. I'll go play golf. You play some curling life. It'd be great. Very jo popular event there. Nice. Jacques Gauthier throwing here for Team Cooey, looking to peel that top guard. Easy does it. Brock is gone. Good shot uh, there three. from Jacques Gauthier, opening things up in the house. Yeah. Quickly, Brad Jacobs has made up his mind. Is he going to put up another guard here, guys? Yeah, they're going to probably do this like for the next team, couple no. of stones, I would think. And, uh, they don't want to yeah. get into the house too early, otherwise they're early at risk of a blank end or giving up two. Off center. Three. Just riding like here the whole time. Derek yeah. Samigalski <laughs> being asked to Never. lay a center guard out here. Derek Please. loves to throw Always the big weights, but he's been con. very precise when he's had to throw the soft weights. Derek's had a great yeah. weekend, Kyle. You know, I've been lucky enough yep. to be up in the booth here quite a bit this weekend. And this is about the many games that I've got to watch him play. And he's had a terrific bond spiel. Yes, yeah, a big week for Derek Samigalski, the second for Team Carruthers. Has had a fun week, great week. Heard lots of tremendous feedback from the players so far about how much they've enjoyed the town. Just want us to turn the heat up a little bit next year when they come. Oh, Mary Jane, how can you say that? Great day today, 17 degrees Celsius, sun shining. I'll trade you. But uh, once again, thank you. Hope you're watching this on the deck and uh, getting ready to prepare a nice meal this evening. Brad Jacobs here looking for another guard on that center line. Wanting to cover up what's going on inside that house. Reed Carruthers first guard here in the fifth end. Line. For the wait. thirds and the skips, guys, you don't throw a lot of guards. It. Is it an uncomfortable shot? Go ahead, Derek. It shouldn't be. No, because uh, at the end of the day, it's down to the process. Just what weight do I need to throw here? And, uh, Line's good. That's all, that's all you got to think, and you got to trust your sweepers. Oh. Yep. Yep. Now, this yep. might have good. went a little higher than they want to, so. But uh, Cooey's not going to uh, even worry about playing in the house just yet. Ryan, you bring up a key point, trusting your sweepers, trusting the process. Um, and, and again, at this level, the sweeping is so important, such an art form. And uh, amazing what these guys can do as they're now into their eighth game of the weekend, what? still going as hard as they possibly can as they're trying for a first place win and $26,000. The biggest purse of anything Josh, outside buddy. of the Grand Slams this year. Kevin Cooey and Reed Carruthers looking for that payday. It's got to be that adrenaline that keeps these guys going. They just love it. I, I know that's what worked for me as a competing athlete back in the day, Kyle. Yeah. It's it's Pure contagious adrenaline. when it you're really playing is. at this level. It's it's a contagious like thing, and it's it's something that 
you know, once you get a taste of the top, you just want more, more, and Tom's more. too smart for his own good. So <laughs> Reed Carruthers here stepping in for his second he's like, shot. He's like Will Hunting. You've got to Brad Jacobs you still hasn't laid the broom out there for what, what he wants. <laughs> as he's now gearing in. Are we looking like we're finally going to get a peel out of these guys? Is that what we're going to see, guys? Well, third's last sure. rock here in the fifth end for Team Carruthers. A couple different shot calls here. I think they're just going to want to hit this yellow and roll to their own red. I think even nose is, pro nose is not even a bad, it's not not a bad. Not a bad spot, too. Not bad. Something to avoid the double. Slightly roll towards center, Ryan? I think so. Reed Carruthers here with his last rock in five, handing it over to Derek Samigelski. Yep. Yep. Curl. Curl. Looking for it to curl. Right there. The hit and stick. As Team Crothers sits two and three. Team Cooey sitting shot rock right now with Hammer looking to score in this all important fifth end right now. As Tyler Tardy slipping in for his second shot here in five. Good look, good spot to hit hit that stone. Like very critical not to over over curl there and roll to the other side where we would lead to a double. Tyler with his second Little heart. here in five at the Aztec Safety Challenge. Whoa. Yep. The yep, hit and the roll, yep, 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 yep. trying to nice uh, control weight hit. There. Well Good done. shot Good there. Good, Good controlled shot from Tyler Tardy as he gets the hit and roll. Good call, Kev. Carrick Martin there with a good sweep to move that one over into the top of the 12. Not setting up any kind of double like situation for <laughs> Team Carruthers. Nah, I, I like the loop shot too. I, I'm with you there. Draw around everything and get shot behind the staggered two rocks in the top of the four foot. He gets a good chance. Like, we might as well try something here. Four two, I think. Question out there, uh, have we mentioned why Jacobs is skipping for Team sure. Carruthers? Well, no, I'm I'm not a, a reporter. I am, and I haven't been sitting in the players' rooms with these guys. But yes, a recent change is Brad Jacobs is now starting to throw the skip rocks and co-game calling with Reed Carruthers um, in the second half of the season as these guys gear up for the opportunity at the Briar later on. So no, it is not Team Jacobs. It is still Team Carruthers. This team is still Reed's team, his makeup, and it is still going by Team Carruthers right now. Similar thing happened last year with the uh, the Holman team. Uh, Rachel Holman, I believe, was the, um, wasn't the wasn't actually calling the game last year, but they were still known as Team Holman. And, and, and uh, some of that could be for, from a marketing standpoint, too. Absolutely. These guys, well-sponsored, well-decorated in different uh, contracts with different supporters back home. And again, at the end, of, at the start of the season, uh, they all agreed that they were going to run under the team of Team Carruthers, and that is definitely staying in place right now as Brad Jacobs is trying to draw into the full four, but a touch heavy. Kevin Cooey still shot rock with three stones to come. But they weren't too concerned about that. They just needed to get this rock buried. Uh, being third shot was also important, and uh, both, both were accomplished there. Nice shot here. You'll see great replay action here. And that's why we have Ryan and Scott in the booth. They know when it's actually a good thing. I don't have a clue when it comes to that thing. So, guys, thank you so much for taking the time out of your days to be a part of this final here at the Lloydminster Golf and Curling Center, the Aztec Safety Classic, the inaugural event here. It's been 10 years since the old wayside. Maybe a little bit longer. I think a little longer. A little longer. 16, I want to say. Yeah. 2008 was last time. I guess we have. I had the pleasure of playing in that spiel, Kyle. I had the pleasure of playing in the final that year against the legend Kevin Martin. Kevin Martin versus Warren Hassel. It was. Back then, a former powerhouse in Lloydminster. And uh, 
Again, when you look up at all of the banners, Lloyd Minster has been an outstanding curling community for a long, long time. Lots of supporters of the community. And for me personally, when I had the opportunity to work at this club a long time ago, I always think back to the days of Howie Kayford and Matt Brost and uh, Ted Collins and Doc Natras and some of these guys that were a big part of the club when we were putting the ice in in the start of the year. And uh, I know all of those gentlemen be extremely proud of what's going on here this week at the Lloydminster Curling Center. Okay, hair okay, I like it's great to have the competition I'm back good. here at Lloydminster Curling. It's been a fantastic event. Right on the tee. Look. Oh, for many years for the right Aztec Safety Challenge. Look. Absolutely. As yeah, Kevin Cooey is looking to draw finally. around and sit Mine's on top good. of yep, that yep, Brothers line. Rock Hard at line. the back of the four. Jock Gauthier and Carrick Hard Martin digging in line. on this sweep, trying to get it Big shot. in there yeah, okay, right yeah. on the button. A huge shot, shot from Kevin Cooey as he's looking at an opportunity Perfect. to score two, maybe three, as this end takes shape now. Brad Jacobs, Reed Carruthers, how do you respond? Let's listen in to the commentary that they have between each other. No. Straight back. Yeah. Then he might freeze, though. I mean, I guess if we make... Just got that out turn ball. He does, but he has to make a shot. Do this. I think scoring's out of the question like with, with how the rocks are situated, but uh, just got to find a way to get so the force here. Play the red blocker shot. It's almost like a no. Yeah, that would work. I think, eh? I don't know if that yellow 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 goes. I don't know. It's very tough, eh? Brad Jacobs, Reed Carruthers strategizing on how they can force Team Cooey to a single rock. Obviously now in the fifth end, going into the sixth here shortly in an eight end game. The last thing they can do is give up a big end right now. Yep, that's probably the show. But I'm, I'm kind of feeling this outturn little cross with a solid hack. There you go. You like that? Yep. <laughs> Great explanation there, but <laughs> looking for the outturn slash. Is that what I heard, guys? Outturn hack. Outturn yeah. hack. Okay. Yeah. So they're gonna go across the face and just splash their two reds in front, make the draw very tough. Uh, if this is executed perfectly, I don't know if there's gonna be a shot for two for Cooey or not. Pretty tough. So it just. Caution on the after the hit, eh, Ryan? Just not to roll too far. That's right. Roll far, but not too far. Brad Jacobs with his final rock for Team Carruthers here in the fifth end. Handing it off to his front end, Connor Nagovin and Derek Samigelski as they're brushing in hard here. Precision is so important. They get the one, they move that rock across. Might have splashed that red rock a little too far. Maybe kicked it out a bit too much. So now is that hit and roll there for Kevin Cooey? Or does he look at a possible... No, he can't get three here. There's definitely no way of getting three, but obviously the possibility of two. Two would be huge here, Kyle. I kind of like just the hair more weight, hair less ice, and needs a little so hard hit and draw. roll under cover yeah, here to get his two yeah. guys. Then, uh, okay, whatever, whatever like. he sees. Yeah, yeah. Got this too. Whatever you like. Yeah, his his draw there didn't go crazy. Can you hit and roll off ours? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of like just. I mean, I can see the caution on playing the hit on the on the the rock that's in the forefoot, just because if it ever hangs out, it could be disastrous. kui has got one in the bank right now. Okay. Last thing he would want to do is ever jeopardize any movement of that shot rock stone. Okay. 
but they're going to come at it with the uh, with the outturn. It looks like at which a little safer, safer play. What's our way, Kev. Forward. Okay. Kevin Cooey has had many big moments in his career, but I know none bigger than yeah, what he's enough. trying to yeah, achieve like here at like the it. Aztec I do. Safety I do. Challenge. Get the weight right, Kev. As he settles in for his final rock here in five, looking for a hit and a little bit of a turn in. It's good. Yeah. Kevin Cooey with the yeah. famous Curl out the quiet, turn son. hit. Just for it, a little quiet. Chuck Curl. 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 A little quiet. Dig it in. Hard. This is really hard. Really, hard. really hard. need this to curl. Go, 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 really go, go, dig go, go, it in go, go, on this go, go, sweep go, go, here. Go, go, go. He gets the hit and roll. Needs it to stick boy, around. Kev. Shot by Kevin Cooey. And he does is Kevin Cooey is going to get two here in the fifth end, as we see on the replay. Great sweep there. Great save by Goche. Really had to go on that, Ryan, just to get that extra curl, yeah. get that extra finish. Great two oh, points by Team Cooey. Standing Cui. shot by Kevin Cooey. Again, we can't do these great events without tremendous sponsors. We have them here. Bandit, Bexon Construction, Synergy Credit Union, T-Bar One, Cooperators, Jason Arden and Associates, Border Inn and Suites, The Host Hotel, l and Oil Field, Velocity Truck Centers, The Goat 1061, The Media Sponsor, Strathcona Resources, and Wild Rose Pump and Compression. As well, Boundary Ford, yeah. Lloyd Tough Minster going. Agriculture Exhibition Association, the Players Tour, Canadian Angus, Click Before You Dig, RL Electric, Fountain Tire, XL Insurance, Lloyd Minster, The Tent Guys, Industrial Scientific, Musgrave Agencies, our host club, the Lloyd Minster Curling Club, and our host city, Lloyd Minster, Alberta, Saskatchewan. Thank you to all of you, you sponsors wanna, you for your donation and the time that you've spent here matter. this week okay. creating this atmosphere yeah, yeah. for these players to enjoy right. and play right. and Tough experience point. what Lloyd Minster <laughs> hospitality is all about. Guys, as we move into six, Team Cooey leading 5-1. What does Team Carruthers need to do to mount an attack yeah, here yeah. in the oh, second? Like well, you got to set up the goal posts or, get, or to get two corner guards on, whoa, 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 on one side. Uh, they're going to have to go there. real hard on this thing. Three is going to be the goal here for sure for, for Jock, uh, if you can, Carruthers team. No, 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 team no. Carruthers needs a big I end like. as... Kevin Mart or Kevin Cooey throws there. the first one in from Carrick Martin right in on top of the button. Brad Jacobs now calling for those guards, trying to set something up. We have seen some outstanding shot making Good so line. far, guys. Trading blows Good back line. and forth. Kevin Cooey with a comfortable lead, scoring three in the second, two in the fifth. He's going to be fine. Reed Carruthers and his team with the single back in three. Yep. As these guys yep. right, try and leave this right on the It's Time Promotions logo, just a little bit shy of that. As we head to Carrick Martin for his second. Uh, one just under curled a little bit. I think they would have okay. want that a little yep. bit farther over, right in the middle of the It's Time Same logo. Here. Same speed, yep. Interesting call here, but a little different call from Kevin Cooey for Carrick Martin just to take away this corner guard and have, have him draw yeah, this rock close. right into the... Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a hair less? Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. To, yeah. right to where yeah. Kevin's yeah. room is on the Aztec safety sign. Yep, yep, yep. 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 Hard power. I just want to take this corner guard away. Okay, close. Rate's perfect. A little change in strategy. Little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Yep, yep. Hard. Hard, full eight. Come on. Full eight. Come on. Go, 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 Perfect go, 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 chat. Talking Great about job. the uh, change in the team of Team Carruthers and Team Jacobs. Even though Team Brad Jacobs is throwing now fourth Great rocks pair, and co-calling the game with Reed Carruthers, doesn't mean they can't switch this back up before they get to the provincial championships in the Briar. Right now, just seemed like it was the right thing to do to the team to have a little bit of a shakeup. Nothing saying that Reed Carruthers wouldn't be throwing le or how, how hot skip stones we, uh, later on in the year, right, guys? It's it, uh, it possible. Um, Keep going. Yeah. I'd be a little bit surprised uh, just because they've had they've they've had some pretty good success okay. with this with the changeup recently. So, um, but yeah, it's it's possible they could go back. That's it could be sure. commonplace to do that, Kyle. You know, any? last year Ryan and no. I did that. I started out the year skipping, and then halfway through the season, 
I turned the reins over to Ryan and I said, I could do a better job of playing third. So, and at the end of the day, it, it's what's best for all four guys and the coaches, absolutely, and the and the I alternates that are on board with the I team. At the end of the day, it's about winning. That's right. And, good. and sometimes guys are Tough feeling eight. different well, things, or things aren't going the way they want yeah, it to. Eight. And it's just like in any sport, you call a timeout in hockey Please. or basketball. Sometimes Please. it's just a change of strategies, Please. change of pace, different mind, Please. different Please. set of eyes, Please. looking at different Please. things. And uh, clearly it has worked this week as okay, Team job. Carruthers has gotten themselves here into the final, which has been thinner. Will I, I as they're looking for their best finish the of the guard. year right now. There's that straight spot kind of appearing. Hey, you got, uh, Just showing up that little it's intern off the ten. line. Yeah. Make that thin, hey? Oh, yeah. Great oh, yeah. weight control there. Thin thin, yeah. Right now, uh, Team Cooey with three in the house. Dead quarter, third. Carruthers looking third. to set up a big scoring time. end. Time for one, two's bonus. I want to draw around everything here, Kyle, and get this rock back eight foot around their corner guard. Mine's good. Go I think the Carruthers teams must be back content eight. with how the rocks Root. are situated right now. There's Clean, yep. no real powerful Hard shot line. down the middle for uh, for Cooey, so uh, now they got to get a couple yeah, rocks buried here. That's okay. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going, Brad Jacobs calling on Reed Keep Brothers yep. and Connor Nagevin to get this one into okay, the rings. Throw, Don't think that Come was back. the call they were looking <laughs> for. Flip the plan B. Yeah. Not, not, not awful where it went. Right. Like uh, Really good sweep in here by the guys. Get that frozen. Get it on top of that yellow. Jock Goche here throwing yep. some big yep. weight, looking yep. to peel out Whoa. the Whoa. high Whoa. red Whoa. guard. Whoa! And he oh, gets shot, two though. red guards, but holds the shooter there. Good, good shot. shot by oh, Jock Gauthier oh, here good. in the sixth end. Little pocket. Tap now. that to a pocket. I think so. That was a great play there so by like, uh, Gauthier getting button, rid of both those line. red stones. Now if, you know, if uh, the Carruthers team ever gets buried behind that corner guard, they got something to run back. and. It's the right oh, color, right. eh, Ryan? That's the right yeah, color. Oh, well, skinny your little hard to stick that one. Yeah. <laughs> so much spin. Yeah. Derek Samigelski. Great call here by Brad Jacobs just to Back push four. the Kick. second shot yellow a little bit Whoa. deeper and Clean. create a pocket with their Clean. red shooter. Oh. Makes it really hard Whoa. to remove. Clean. Whoa. Curl. Curl. Looking to get that yellow Curl. tap back a little Curl. bit here Whoa. to sit Whoa. second Whoa. shot rock. And he does. Yeah, nice shot, precision Derek. weight shot good there good by shot Derek by Samigelski. Saucy, but I like it. As these guys go off are the guard too trying into the top one. to find yeah, I love that. two or three here in end number six. Okay. Yeah. Yep. They're eyeing the, the thin right double there, here. I think. Yeah. I think it came back a hair at the end. Really precise what double takeout here, guys. Porter? Eyeing up the thin double. Hit this really okay. thin. Obviously with a 5-1 lead, you can take these kind of risks right now in the game. Tyler Tardy settling in. Coming with some big weight, looking for the thin oh. double to eliminate these two red Girl. rocks. Jock Goche starting Girl. to clean Girl. now. Hey. Gets the hit, knocks Good out boy. both reds, and nice clears shot. out one of the yellows as well as the shooter, but will have two Good rocks shot. stick around in the rings for Team Cooey. Good shot there Back from butt. Tyler Tardy. Yeah, it probably didn't hurt to, to eliminate one of your own uh, yellows too. Uh, right here. Creates less of a chance of, of a wall being built. Now Brad Jacobs. Are they wanting to freeze on that yellow rock Clean. just on the other side of the four foot yeah. guys trying to create a little bit of backing if they can? Clean. Yeah, I think they want to freeze to the Rook nose of this or just the hair on the high side. A little bit of rope. Rope! Curl. Not bad. Knife. Weight's good. Clean. Needs to curl. Curl distance. Curl. This has got to go for weight, I think. Hard time. This one more. to go, guys. are digging in on the sweep. Nice shot. Getting it yep. there as Absolutely close bad. as they can. Great sweeping. Great sweeping is right. Well managed yeah, stone like there. Yeah. Yeah. Play the run now. No seven eights. I think even if you plant it on the nose, that red gets out of there. 
Oh yeah, for sure. Let's go, bud. Now Team Cooey for calling for the run back from Tyler Tardy as he digs in for his second shot here in the sixth end. Yep, 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 yep On yep, it yep, early. On. Back it up, back it up. Greg on the other Eric side. Martin. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Trying to keep this online. Hits it right on the nose as it jams. The it, Red Rock fine, stays with two yellow rocks. Good throw, real good throw. Sitting that's second and bad. third that's shot. Right. Just overcooked that ever, Over ever so oh, slightly. Too much. Yeah, it, uh, backed up a bit late, eh? A little bit of a break there for the Carruthers team. As, uh, Not bad. No a, other shot, eh? They would have let off that just a tiny bit. That was made. Opportunity like this doesn't really do us opening up a little bit here for Team Carruthers, but absolutely is, need to nail these next three I shots know, to, uh, as they look to get themselves back into this game with only two ends left. Fans upstairs here yeah. at the Lloyd Minster Golf and Curling Center Something on the like edge of their seats right now I don't know if as this, this all-important sixth end is to going to decide yellow. A lot of what happens here I like as what this final even, is heating and if just up. Knows it and punch it by, that's fine. But I know. I, I, I'm thinking you throw like a just screw and try to tap those, and if you knows it, well, that's good. Nose is the shot with just through. Good explanation there. Just trying to create a little wall back there. Better Something. Brad Jacobs explaining it than me. Might as well let the Olympian Canadian champion talk about what the plan is as he's asking for Reed back. Carruthers yep. to throw right, backline hack weight. All right, Derek. Oh, as Reed right, Derek. Carruthers Reed looks it. on, Derek Samigalski oh, digging in right, on the it. sweep. As they get the tap and the roll, okay, creating a little yeah, bit of that I wall that Ryan talked about. <laughs> good shot there from right, Reed good Carruthers. Shot. Good yeah. execution. Two thirds. <clears throat> Just over curled a tiny bit. So, yeah. Kui's got this double opportunity. Now the question is whether it'll jam onto the back one or not. Uh, there's a way to hit uh, to, to avoid the jam, that's for sure. Delicate double take out here. For Kevin Cooey. His first rock in the sixth end. Kevin Cooey settling in. Looking for the double takeout. Wanting to make life extremely difficult on Team Carruthers. Here in the sixth, Kevin Cooey yep. with the intern. Well, yep, yep. Coach sweeping hard, holding line. And they only get the one. Right. Okay. Opportunity opening up here a little bit for Team Carruthers. Not bad. Hey, as no, not at all. Not at all. A small Throw mistake that we don't see from Kevin Cooey like very often. He loves those double takeouts. We've seen him at the Briar. We've seen him at Grand Slams. The pressure of the Aztec Safety Challenge may be getting to him. I'm going to guess not. But I think they're. I think they're okay. This end, even giving up to, uh, yeah, that's not, for sure, Ryan. You know, yeah. for Kevin Cooey to be to maintain the two up with into the seventh end, he'd, he'd be quite satisfied with that. Let's see what Brad Jacobs can do here. He'd probably just want to hit and sit right there, eh, Ryan? I think so. Make the double really tough. Nose hit. If he hits this hard enough, guys, is there any way to splash out the two in the back and the one they're trying to hit, or is that a really high-risk shot right now? Um, you could do that, but uh, it's not really necessary. Like, you just need to you just need to lie to here. If he knows this one, uh, pretty hard to play a double takeout of any kind on the Reds. That's why you're the pro, Ryan, and I'm the Joe. Good nice shot, shot there from Brad Jacobs. Was able to hit the one at the back of the 12. Line two is the angle for the double there, guys. Yeah. Rolling ours. Good shot. Yeah. Really good shot there. Lay two. 
Now Cooey's looking at uh, making, hitting this red one onto the yellow. And, and then he's gonna be stuck very underneath that red, which will make it, you know, it'll make Jacob's last shot just a little bit harder. Really tough, Ryan. If he hits and rolls and gets shot yeah, rock, roll right nestled up to his own, yeah. roll into their own. Yeah, it just makes the sh makes makes Jacob's last shot just that much harder, doesn't it? Yeah. Shade low. Not, not a not a gimme hey. not a gimme deuce anymore. Great call here by Kevin Cooey. Now you're talking my nope. game, Ryan. Yeah, talking right. gimmies. Gimmies. Kevin Cooey here with his final rock in six. Close. Whoa. Yep. 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 Got to go. Really got to go. Really got to go. Really it really in really on go. this sweep. Really go. Trying to find the line. They get the hit shot, and roll yeah, on boy. top. Wow. What a shot there by Kevin Cooey. Great brush by Car Carrick <laughs> Martin there, too, holding that Beauty. line. Great shot, Kevin. That's hard to do with that type of speed. And that much pressure. Really good. Karak Martin, just a power sweeper for the Cooey front end. One of the best sweepers in, in Canada, for sure. We've seen it all weekend, Ryan. Just absolute dig on the sweep. Now, guys, Team Carruthers looking to find two. What is the angle of attack here for Brad Jacobs? Dead nose hit. Great sweep. It's got to be careful. Dead nose and you get two here, but you know if you're a little bit off, it, it, it might only be one. So, a very precise shot here. Great strategy there that we've seen this end. It's not really a shot you can over or under curl at all here. Like there's, yeah, it's there's got not, not a lot of forgiveness on this one. This one has to be perfect. Brad Jacobs settling in. It is. Yeah. Laser focused eyes on the prize. Here he goes with his final rock here in the sixth end. Just cleaning it right now. Reed Carruthers making the call. Needing this to curl. Get the nose. Gets the nose, gets the tap back, and just enough for two. What a shot there from Brad Jacobs. Nice shot. At the end of the sixth end, Brad Jacobs makes a big shot for two. It's Team Cooey five, Team Carruthers three, at the end of six at the Aztec Safety Challenge in Lloydminster. Aztec Safety. This must be the place, boys. Huh. This is about right. Looks like this is where the uh, engineers hang out. Nice spot. Here's something else that's cool under pressure. Great tour, but where's our man Brett? I don't know. All right, normally he's bailing me out. Roll reversal, baby, there he is. Rescue mode. <laughs> Putting out fires for these guys already. Welcome back to the seventh end at the Aztec Safety Party. Challenge. Clean end here. Proudly brought to you by presenting sponsor Wild Rose Pump and yeah. Compression here in Lloydminster, Alberta, Saskatchewan at the Lloydminster Golf and Curling Center. Ryan Dice, Scott Manners joining me in the booth as we get ready for the first shots of this end. Guys, Team Cooey now with the hammer in seven. What is he looking for here? Well, you could go um, a force a force of one is pretty good for the Carruthers team and hope to get their three the next end. Uh, or they could go with a, you know, the route four. of steal, trying to steal one here and then uh, yeah, well, steal again in the next end and maybe steal in the extra. 
a lot of work ahead for Credits to, yeah, to come like, back and win this game. It's literally doing nothing. It's going to be a perfect Obviously, uh, <laughs> Team Cooey. My assumption, hey, you guys would know better, but I would assume yeah, if he's got an opportunity to score, he wants to end this now. Cooey's going to do everything he can to score multiple. You're going to see uh, who have we seen all weekend. Karak Martin draw around the center. He'll want to just bite the forefoot, at least be full eight. Control the top of that whole control zone in the rings. It's kind of Martin. a comf tight comforting situation Martin. here. Uh, like, even if Cooey gives up a yeah, steal one, like they're, they're still going to feel just fine going in the last <laughs> ending with the hammer, too, right? So, uh, whoa. That's right, Ryan. Uh, you know, they're, whoa, whoa. they're not going to be it's okay. too upset if they have to, but if they have a it's chance okay. to whoa. keep yeah, that control right, and right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. take Perfect. it into the last Great end. Shot. Nice shot here by Karak Martin. Shot. Draw Kinda in like there the right breeze. in the top of the forefoot. Right. Like pinch my hip a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Grinding. Grinding. The lead there for Team Cooey. Gonna be good. Connor Nagovin now his second for Team Carruthers. Mine's fine. Lock it on. Asking it on. for this to sit Mine's right okay. on top of, of that yellow in the forefoot. Mine's good. Mine's Line is good. Line's good. Really good. Garrick Samigelski and Reed Carruthers nice. on the sweep, Seven, trying nine. to get this as close as they can to the top. Nice. nice shot. And they do. Great shot there. Some teams would play a tight guard on that scenario, but I think uh, yeah, all right with the better. Yeah. I think uh, the Carruthers team found the importance of uh, drawing right, right up on there now. Otherwise, uh, if uh, they ignored that and went short and Carrick puts one there, then it makes it real hard for the Carruthers team to uh, splash some rocks around. Okay. Sure, right. yeah. So Carrick has now thrown two in-turn draws, and Connor Nagevin throws the out-turn draw. Oh, Obviously oh, preference yeah. there it's by both guys. of those guys. Possibly, or like, it, it just whoa, whoa, whoa. could be a no, no, part of the game yep, situation. Yep, yep, um, yep, 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 yep. I'm not sure. I, I don't know offhand if uh, one prefers one nice turn shot. or the other. I think it's, it, it, it could on. very well just be the... Uh, the angles they're trying to get. Yeah, well. the angles, how, yeah, or just, you know, just that particular game. You know, they just happen to know one side a little better than the other. So it could be that too. That's fair. Great shooting here. Great shot there from Carrick Martin. Now Derek Samagelski going with the out turn draw to sit on top of that yellow here? rock that was just laid in there by Team Cooey. Where are you, where are you going? I'd like to see you go here. No, it's too late for that. No, it's okay. That's okay. Connor trying to steer that one over a little bit. And sit right okay. on the corner. That's fine. A pretty good shot. That worked that out pretty one. good. Yeah. I need a straight rip, right? Yeah. So. Right out of Derek's hand. He didn't want his team to touch it at all. He knew just a hair full. Great, Great communication. communication. Yeah. Wow. Wild, right? <laughs> Great minds think alike, Scott. As uh, we'll see Jacques Goche being asked to peel this guard. Are they trying to run this back at all or just looking for a straight peel, guys? Just straight peel. Yeah. 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 Clear it off the top. Bit. At this point, Cooey team, they're, they're pretty content everything just being in the house right now. No bring real threat at the moment on, on a steal. Three. They'll want to bring the play into the rings every opportunity they can. This will be a tight guard by the Carruthers team. Derek's last rock here, seven. Saying that the brothers team, you got that one red rock that's squished in there, right in the forefoot. That's a, that's a key. That might be a keystone this end. Just clean. Good insight there from two world-class curlers sitting up here in the box with me, Ryan Dice and Scott Manners, as we have the opportunity to watch this final match at the Aztec Safety Cl Challenge. Right here, by Wild Rose Pump and Compression. Getting down to the nitty gritty here in the back half of the seventh end. John Goche looking for another peel Good. of that high guard. A little full on this one. Nice shot. Gets the hit and roll out to keep the front of that house clean. I didn't look very athletic. 
<laughs> Didn't feel like it. Didn't like the throw. One more guard. Uh, mission accomplished. Center guards peeled off. Don't worry, Jock. Uh, I'm not overly athletic when I throw either. So every once in a while, even the pros make a mistake. And again, for those of you out there watching, maybe you haven't been to your local curling club. You're not going to find a better sport that you can enjoy the social part of the game, play in some competitive nature, it. and you get out. It's a game you can line. play forever. And uh, curling is such an awesome game. With lots of things happening in Curling Canada lately, you guys. Yep. New CEO, Nolan Tc was bit. just yep. announced late Good last clean. week. And uh, Dave Murdoch, who's come Ooh. over as the head hey guys, of development there. and training for High Performance Canada. Um, again, curling is in a very interesting state right now as they're looking to make some changes with the Canadian program to take us back up to be sitting as the champions of the women and the men's game in the 2026 Olympics in Italy. But that's not going to be an easy road to hoe as you're going to have to go up against some teams like what? Retornes, the world number one, who will be the host team at the Olympics in 2026. Good toss, bud. Yeah, no, uh, yeah definitely some, a few changes here in the last little bit. Uh, um, I want to say some of that, some of those changes might not necessarily have all been Olympic related. There's probably definitely, like, I think the David Murdoch thing was definitely uh, yeah, like, just move it Olympic hot. motivated. What, what did uh, he do then? Um, he can only Glad get to see Dolan Thiessen uh, take on well, the role depends as how far this flies. Looking forward to seeing what he can do there. As we all are. And uh, yeah. I think so. We I like that definitely shot. Yeah. look forward yeah. to more growth and more opportunities. And on Wednesday night, the junior curling development that we had here at the at the club, we had Team Goskins, Team Parent, Team Retornez, and Team Botcher out on the ice with some of the youth. As the picture is up on the screen there right now, as you can see the happy faces, even some local flavor oh, out there right. as well. It was a great night, great opportunity to share the ice with those Olympians, world-class Olympians and those kids. There was a lot of smiles, a lot of pictures. Those kids will never forget that moment, Kyle. It's Absolutely. great we can do that right in our home city. And Nice to see uh, Team Botcher head that all up. It's going to have a lasting impact. Well, then you it will for mine's sure. Mine's good. Right? Are you sure? Mine's good. Reed Carruthers Reed, yep. here. Oh, well. Yep. Well. Yep. Well. Yep. Well. Mine's good. Mine's good. Go ahead, Con. Mine's good. Come on. It's a little short of what they want, but. Whoa. Slid right along. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Nice shot. <laughs> Good shot there okay. from Reed Carruthers. Okay. Straight peel one. I think Kevin Cooey is indicating just to get rid of that really yeah. tight center guard. Better, eh? I can pick it and it's fine. Straight pick on the center. Yeah, if you just pick it. Yeah, the stones are still uh -huh. lined up real well for the Cooey team. I think the Carruthers team is going to have to make some. They're going to have to move some of those rocks around here right away if they uh, if they want to get that force or or or, or that steel here. Reminder, Team Cooey with the hammer here in seven. Tyler Tardy. Yep, 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 yep. Stepping in, looking for the peel of that high guard. Drives it into the ones in the ring. Okay, not all bad, bud. It's all right. Interesting readjustment of those stones on not top. Terrible. No. It not worked out pretty good. Not it. terrible. Hitting it a lot thicker than they wanted, but just a little nudge on the yellow. Yeah, where do we want our shooter to end up here? It's interesting. Now, a little bit of an open door as we listen in to Reed yeah, Carruthers yeah, and Brad like Jacobs. Yeah, I hard to not touch one of them. I'm just wondering if we, I like that shot. I'm just wondering, do we need to kill the yellow? Because isn't that holding the red if we just moved it three inches? You're, you're saying like pocket again yeah. type thing? Yeah. You, couldn't, you could be right, yep. I, I just think that we've got to be so precise with this, and it's probably clipping these. That's what, so it's easier to throw it lighter so that we give yourself, like, when he smashes Are you okay with that? Do you like that shot? Yeah, I just like okay, This is so easy to just do this. What's the wrong with that, right? No. It's still going to be probably two reds in the ring. It's a, a, a question of do we want to lay three to one here and we're locked or try to get it in a really good spot and then I don't know what we do on my last. 
Yep. Been here. And you just, they were light, we just weren't afraid. Yep. I, I think the shot, like you said, when I think the shot, it just moved this in here. Like, we can never sit there. The gift, like, the pump's bad, because this is here, that's double there. Sit here. Yeah. Okay. He might play some sort of aggressive shot at that point, but I think we're well, talking about right? But I, it's super red. And I know what you're saying. Huh? Hey, Rick. Does he, does he do that? I think he just throws too much smoke yeah. and it just hits too much for him. It'll break, go. it'll go this way. Yeah. He'll pull it, so I don't know if he'll get yeah. it out, but. So do you like that, Reed? Do, are you yeah, seeing that? that? Stay kind of here-ish? Yeah. Oh. We just played it. I like our just chances. a couple of yellows hanging on the floor. I know, board. yeah. If he makes an aggressive shot, makes an absolute peach, then it yeah. might be game over. But if he misses, he might be looking at three. Okay. Right. Let's. So then, so then we what could consider playing this, then. Yeah, we could consider playing this, then. We could consider playing this, then. <clears throat> I, like, I kind of like this. Of options here, guys. I, Scott, I, I, I just, what, uh, I, I like this if you were in this situation right now, what would be your play? Well, I can't wait to hear what they want to do because this is uh, this is a really tough situation for the yeah, I'm not sure. Carruthers team. <laughs> They're in tough. Yeah. They're down two. This is an all-out steal effect they're trying to create. It is tempting to remove sure, but I, it, third I shot. He's gonna want to throw a hit, though. And just... To, Hit the top yellow the and yellow roll, leave everything around. lined up. The yellow stick leave that around. for Cooey. I do like the one comment that they said that they wanted to throw something. You know, so. This might Let's be a scenario that. where the best thing okay. they can so do is lie three. And, throw like uh, a, I like that too, right? Yeah, right. I think that's uh, that might be the best approach here. If they can find a way to lie three at the end of the, all this. Uh, not, not after this shot, but they're just planning ahead for their future shot as well. Because um, if they can ever lie three at the end of all this, uh, you know, a small little mistake by Kui could lead, us, lead to a steal too, possibly. Do you think they're trying to make a play on that yellow, Ryan, or are they just trying to get to nose their own red stone? I think they just, I think they just want to nudge that yellow one over ever so slightly. And stay loaded and on stay the loaded. center. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Really delicate shot here. Yeah. Basically, think of a freeze shot and then just tap nudge. it an inch. Okay. Brad Jacobs sticking to his process. Settling in here for his first shot in the seventh end. Looking for a delicate tap on the yellow at the top of the four. Keeping his that. shot stone on the center line. Derek Samigelski now settling in with the clean sweep here. A little more finish. Looking this to finish. They get the tap and a slight roll, over roll. Interesting. Interesting setup there. Just a touch too much weight, Ryan. I think so. Probably a little bit more than they wanted there, but. Uh... We'll listen into the commentary of Kevin Cooey and Tyler Tardy here. I don't think there's any doubles of it. Well, there could, there could be a double, but it's it's not not that easy. And then how much space is between the red and yellow? Yeah. No, I definitely see what you guys are talking like about. To get yep. an angle. Do you mm. ever hit this through the hole? Like, don't try the double? Well, we obviously don't love it because we're not, yeah, I don't, we're not clicking yeah. our heels exactly. I, yeah. It just opens that yeah. double up. Yeah. I, it, biting for you. <laughs> Give it some smoke at this, just to open it up. And see if you can get it out. Oof, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if you need to. Like, I just think this rock's kind of in the way. <laughs> I'll have a few skips to figure it out. Yeah, that's why I'm down there too much because I'm like. I'm just another voice. Yeah. 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 No, you're right. Yeah, I'm with you. I like the idea. No. Straight oh, pick. great spiel. I can't, I like, I was saying, especially for a first time, like there's lots I'm, of I'm things here I didn't even think of that they had. The wide one? Oh, just we were in trouble for a while. Yeah, like, it was yeah. Hard to, find events and it was like, to find really, yeah. good, really good. I'm fine with that. And then like, the ice is great too. So you're going to get people to come back because the ice is so good that... 
That's Jock Goche and Derek Samigelski. Just about ripping about it or what? Yeah. How great the ice is here at like, the Lloyd Minster Golf this one helps Curling to Center. Bang them all Talking how way, great the, the first one. time event is. And I the was Aztec thinking, Safety if we get Challenge. Right that one, how teams are going to want to come back. <laughs> and we can and I know off. there's going yeah. to be an yeah. announcement very yeah. soon with when the tournament will be back in 2024, 2025. Yeah. As. Uh, Okay, I like this. Just rip a it huge out. Huge thank you yeah. to the entire organizing no, committee. They've done a tremendous job here playing? this week. Nose on his last? And the inaugural the Aztec Safety Challenge. And uh, a huge okay. amount of work been taken by okay. so many people. Okay, I like this, Kev. As Kevin Cooey steps in for his first shot in the seventh okay. end. What's he looking for here, Rai? I think he's just hitting rolling out on this one. He's. This is the... Uh, shot we used to call how do you do are you ryan uh, just a safe safe play pick this out toss gov it's gonna be hard for uh for others now to lie three here good Mike. shot there from kevin cooey good toss gov As he eliminates that red rock on the outside of the eight foot rolling the shooter out there well thought out there uh after looking at it all, I, th I agree with Kevin on, Kevin on that call. You know, guys, looking around the, the building right now, so many people glued to the action that's happening on sheet number five. And seeing the camera there, yep. Councillor Whiting yep. has arrived and that's taken some shot, pictures. And uh, I hope the entire City Council of Lloyd Minster takes notice that. of what's happened here this week. The facility has definitely put itself back it, on the world it, stage it's with it's these athletes. Great attendance, fantastic ice as you just heard from a world-class athlete, Jock Oche. And look at the fans, look at the people, look at the facility. That's what this center is all about. And it's so nice to see the energy and the vibrancy back in this building as we host the inaugural Aztec Safety Challenge. And as you said, Ryan, it's been 16 years since we've had this massive competitive curling here. I like professionally this board on the ice and board the I believe board, board everyone here has done an outstanding job control, Megan the president of the curling club eight. has stepped up yeah, done a fantastic yeah. job like with the organizing like committee Ryan I know you were on that committee as well yeah, uh, yeah. special thanks the also to bing bing Nicole Rediger yeah. she's also on the board for the Lloydminster Curling Club she was the one that I like this her, her sure. along with Megan they they found over 50 Bump. volunteers for this event that's wow. just super impressive Great bunch of volunteers going this weekend. Very far, though. Curling is alive and well. For all of you, one over a thousand people on the YouTube channel right now. Nice. Over six thousand people on the Curling Zone channel. We are so excited to have you as we watch this shot from Brad Jacobs. His final shot here in seven. Trying to find a way back into this game before they head to the eighth either looking to force Kevin Cooey to one or steal here. Brad Jacobs. Ball board. Yep. Little bit. Leaps yep. are trying to get this right to the nose. Big shot Ball. here. Yep. Ball. Ball. Wanting to get it right to the nose. Ball. Ball. It's starting to curl. We get the tap and the roll and the red rolls Stay over. For second. Wow. Is it second shot? Definitely is. <laughs> Definitely second shot there. What a touch by Brad Jacobs here in the seventh end. Just spinning that in. That spun back just in time, I think. Just cool, enough. Cool. Just Honestly, enough. What? Scott's eyes are better than mine. He's calling it just enough. Cooey it's, and Tardy are looking at this one close. Scott definitely has better eyes than I do. I, I went through <laughs> two laser eye surgeries, and uh, that's still not enough. It was the ongoing joke between us, that's <laughs> for sure. So let's see uh, what Kevin Cooey decides to do here. You know, initially I did think it was red, but it's it's, it's measurable, close. Probably it, a measurable situation, eh, Ryan? Your thoughts, us, but it's what I want to think too, but... I think that's our shot anyway. Yep. And then measure yeah. for the plan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thinking He's got to be Yellow. Yeah. Second rock. Scott Manners calling Carruthers' his second rock. Okay. Ryan and I are too blind to call it. So <laughs> we will leave it up to the <laughs> leave it up to these guys on the ice to make that decision. That's why they're in the final. Key shot here in the seventh end for Kevin Cooey. Really wanting to eliminate both these stones. 
And we'll let uh, the measuring stick decide who shot rock. Kevin Cooey settling in for his final rock here in seven. Just wait, just wait. At the Aztec Safety Challenge. Same way. by yep. Wild Rose yep, 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 yep. Pump and Compression. Well, yep. yep. Carrick Martin hard, with the hard, sweep. Hard, hard, hard. Hard. Tyler Tardy calling it for a hard sweep. The hit one. and roll. The reds are gone. I don't know who, but one. Now we don't know who. Manners says red. Tardy and Goche said yellow. As we call for a measurement, Reed Carruthers over grab and the measuring sticks. This is a big point. This is a massive point at this point <laughs> in the game. The the roll back will Kevin Cooey yeah. score one and have a three up lead the heading the home? Dead, or will Team yeah. Carruthers steal one? Trying to find two in the eighth end on a steal. Sure. Scott, what do you think uh, Cooey would prefer actually in this cool. scenario? Be three up or three up or down or one up with. Yeah. I think he's comfortable with both, Ryan, but you know, boy, three up playing the last end is pretty fantastic. Let's get a look from our overhead camera here. Just past the 30. Yeah, just past the 38. Yeah. The guys are pretty good. Oh. Yeah. One yellow. There you have it. Good eye, Ryan. <laughs> Jacques Gauthier called that one. He said it was yellow all day long. And he was right, as the stick shows. At the end of seven, it is Kevin Cooey six. Reed Carruthers three, as we are now in the home end. Okay, boys, let's go. Again, our last opportunity to thank our sponsors, Banded Energy, Synergy Credit Union, Bex and Construction, Border Inn and Suites, T Bar One, Cooperators, Jason Arden and Associates, LL Oilfield, Velocity Truck Center, 1061 The Goat, Boundary Ford, Lloyd Minster Agriculture Exhibition Association, Canadian Angus, The Players Tour, Lloyd Minster Curling Club, and obviously Wild Rose Pump and Compression, the presenting sponsor here at the Aztec Safety Challenge. A quick comment on the channel here. This event is proof. You don't need TSN, Sportsnet, like or any like other it. major network too, to like broadcast. It. Excellent yeah, job, close, Lloyd guys. Minster. Well, okay. Thank you very much, Roxanne. Well, that means know. more to all of us well, than you know, as uh, it's been a pleasure to watch this event and watch these world-class curlers well, as they are now into the final well, end of this championship game at the Aztec Safety God, Challenge. Buddy. In Lloyd Minster, Alberta, Saskatchewan. No Guys, <laughs> Reed Carruthers down three, needing to find three. Yeah. It was done and last night by Team Botcher. He did it last <laughs> game, got three for the win. Reed so. Carruthers got three for the win in his last game. What does he need to do, Ryan, to set this up is, for opportunity not, at the end? Just got to get a couple of guards yeah. up and, and you got to find ways to get, get your rocks buried. Okay, that's okay. It's Mine's probably going to result in. Um, you're going to have to get at least a half curl. miss from, from the Team Cooey at the end curl, to, yeah. to get your three three under here That's for good. sure. But uh, so that there's going to be they're going to have to rely a little little bit of help. But uh, hopefully they, you know, for them uh, they'll need to make Kevin's shots as hard as possible. Okay. Um, another yeah, little top point eight. too with the, the Crothers team, four. I believe they played the Slichinski team. I think it was the B final. Uh, they were down three with two ends to go. They took three and they stole one for the win. So. That's more. There you so go. So, uh, they've done it this they've weekend. They've yeah. already done it this never. weekend. Not never. Four. Never. Well, never. Now Whoa, more important guys. than ever. Yeah. Team Carruthers Whoa. looking to find three here Almost in the eighth end. Brad Jacobs, Whoa. Reed Tapping Carruthers four. working together, trying to strategize what these next mm -hmm seven shots are going to look like for their team. Uh, Connor Nagevin stepping in for his second shot here in eight. So a little different setup I mean, here from the Cooey team. I think the next one we might need to put right in the middle of them. Yeah, Throwing maybe. a wrench in things, hey? Captain little Scott. Little different, oh, yeah, just a, a little, just a little Wait. different setup. Mine's good. That's yep. the beauty of the five rock rule. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to defend against a tick there, um, Yeah, you can wolf. Defend yeah. against a three point lead. Huh? Um, whereas the stuff. four rock rule, it was, it was pretty standardized is what you had to do. First, please. This has got to sit. You, seven, you really seven want D. this to be a guard. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Need that to stop, and it so. does. Just short of the rings there. 
great shot from the lead. Connor Nagevin from Top 12, guys. Team Carruthers. Bite the eight here. Jock Gauthier now. Looks like the ice is tightening up a little bit. Not curling as much as it did earlier in the game, uh, which you notice that happened a few, you know, a few times. Uh, and that's oh, not there, uncommon to see that. Good. A lot of good. Curling clubs. Well, we have an opportunity. I, we do want to thank Stop John Wall, Ryan McClaskey, Braden Lomas, yeah. three guys that have worked oh, extremely hard. That. Matthew Reiniger, Lindsey Birch have been helping out on the ice this week as well. <laughs> a lot of work goes into this, guys, to get the rink ready. And I know these guys were working over Christmas and, and through the break. Huge thank you to them for all of your hard work this weekend. It, it doesn't go unnoticed, and we hope uh, you guys can keep a break tomorrow. Maybe sleep in. Maybe sleep in. But thank you very much to the entire ice crew here to look Mr. Golf and Curling South. Huh? Like As you heard in the last end, okay. Jacques Goche and yeah. Derek Samagelsky I mean, talking about how great the ice has been, how great the event's been, and I can almost promise you, yeah. you will see the Aztec safety here. Your first one next year. Your first one next year. Down, your second I may have some inside ball. information, <laughs> but uh, we will definitely be looking forward to an announcement, possibly later tonight or early this week, as to when the next Aztec safety challenge will be. And again, I even a big thank to you to the host team, Team Botcher, put in a lot of work behind the scenes as well, getting the teams to commit to this event, as this was uh, a thought last year at a coffee table on a napkin, and in a whole year, this came to fruition. Big thank you to Ben Hebert, Mark Kennedy, Maybe even some distance, Brent Gallant, like this is good. and Brennan Botcher for all of your help in here. making the Aztec Safety Challenge everything that it's yep. been this week. Derek Samigelski here Mine's now. Good. Yep, line. Trying Mine's to bring good. this one in Mine's behind good. cover. Mine's trying to get some rocks good. in the rings. Need this one to settle down. And it does. Good shot Very there nice from Derek. Shot. Very good shot. He got Bingo himself rip. buried, yep. which is which was the goal here. And you'll notice that they used the, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people would have used the intern on that play, but they went the wide out turn because they realized that they get a little bit more curl going from the outside. Kevin Cooey calling for the peel from his second. Jock Roche needing this to curl to get Fire it to hit keep going. To keep it clean. Did he get one? And he doesn't get it. It's papers. Well, papers he, 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 he did chip the, he chipped the tight guard. A lot of oohs and ahs up here yeah. <laughs> as pressure is starting to mount. An opportunity here, guys, for Team Carruthers. Just poked it a little bit. Is this what we've been waiting for? That opportunity, the patience, does it pay off like, uh, for get one Team in here? Carruthers now? Right there. Yeah, that's where you got to play, sir. Yeah, you? you'd think, eh? Huh? It was uh, even... It was good that Jock Gochi, I mean, he didn't make the shot called, but it was still good that he chipped that, he chipped that one side. And he went through the hole. He didn't rearrange the yellows, which is helpful. That could have been really bad for him. Lucky to be good, good to be lucky, boys. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. He could have chipped out, he could have, like, missed everything and and hit the yellow. So it was a good save. I think, was it Carrick that made that curl? Was that Reed? I wasn't sure who. Hard sweeps to make the curl just a paper. Because that would that have been rock a, over to the corner. Would have been disastrous to kill the, uh, the button rock. Brad Jacobs calling timeout. Wants everybody down here. Let's listen in. This is a big decision from the team. Let these guys talk this one out. Because, like, that's a guard. Like, that's... I was a little wise. That yeah, I don't... Yeah, that's... Are you have time to go to Washington? You? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, but I'm saying if you're just in, then we can use this little end on that. That's a pretty darn good one. It's just lying to us, right? Yes, it is. I, I think that's the play. No? Con, are you. You like that? Thinking like easy? You like the out? I don't care what turn you want. You know what Throw I love, guys? All four guys coming together easy to make this out decision turn. in the eighth end. 
It's not all on Brad Jacobs or Reed Carruthers. All four guys getting together. Lots of information going back and forth as the importance sure. of the situation right now. But how awesome is it to see that teamwork together right here on the ice in front of us? Yeah, everybody's got to buy into whatever they discuss, whatever they How's decide that? to play here. Um, it's a special type of teamwork in curling, Ryan. Hey, yeah. hey guys, we, we see it in other sports when we get four guys that are clicking along and nothing seems to bother them. It's just the greatest feeling in the world to be a part of a, a team like that. Derek Samigelski here stepping in yep. for his Whoa. second shot in the eighth and curl. final no. end at Clean. the Aztec Safety Challenge. Curl, curl, Clean. Curl, 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 roll. Roll. Gets the bump, gets the roll oh, nice shot. on top of that other yellow rock. Great shot there. Again, we've said it multiple times today. Derek Samigelski is hot. What a shot. Get it over. Well done there. As Team Carruthers is trying to find a way to extend this to an extra end. And the opportunity to take home $26,000 the biggest purse on the world tour, the world tour this year at the Aztec Safety Challenge in Lloydminster, Alberta, Saskatchewan. What's the most important part here, guys, is we're getting very close to the final four rocks of the game for each team. Scott, as an experienced skip, having been in this situation before, what's going through your mind right now if you're Kevin Cooey? Well, you just want your guys to, to be everybody oh. buying in clarity on the shot it's great we can see Kevin Cooey take his time with with this third man Tyler Tardy here just making sure that the line is great and they're able to no I'm thinking normal make quality shots here normal. there's a very the thin double here fine. for Tyler Tardy yeah. it's very straight yeah it's gotta be less than half yeah let's go buddy you got Is that a lot of ice yeah, Tyler like Tardy with a hot lot? hand today. He's played great. Let's go. Agreed, Scott. Tyler Tardy settling in. His first shot here in the eighth end. As he pushes off. Hard normal. Puts the spin. And away we go. Carve, 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 carve. Jock Gauthier, Carrick Martin on, on the sweep. Come on, Carve. Go, 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 gets go, Gets it go, by go, the go, guard go. now, trying to get it nice. to the top. Boy. He gets them both. Beauty. What a shot. What a shot by Tyler Tardy here in the eighth end. Making things very, very difficult boy, now on Team yeah. Carruthers. Really good shot. What a shot by Tyler Tardy at a very important time in the game. There isn't a lot of place to hide anymore. As Jacques Gauthier just said, not a lot of places yeah. to hide now for Team Carruthers. Wow, what a shot. We peel, they're going to have to freeze to something. So, That's a big time play yeah. at a pressure pack time, guys. That's why Tyler Tardy's on the ice right now at the Aztec Safety Challenge. Now that now Crothers is going to have to go around here, get himself buried. It's flat. It's, flat. it's very flat. Yeah. The unfortunate thing now is uh, even if they make this real good, Kuhi's uh, just going to peel that time. long guard. Keep his keep the red exposed, and eventually they're going to probably have a a fairly routine double at the end. Or okay. Might oh. Yep. Not sure what happened to this one. Got that red. Something definitely happened to that rock. Oh. Not sure okay. what what a horrible time for that to happen. Yeah. Not like what Reed Carruthers or Brad like Jacobs was looking center. for on that they're shot. They're not the sure exactly corner. what happened, Rip but Connor Negaman not yeah. happy. <coughs> yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah, no Just rocks in the rings draw. for Team Carruthers. Look, you ever draw? You ever draw? Okay. Do I ever hurt anything into that? Okay. Get rid of both okay, high guards on. here and tidy up. Yeah, even just get rid of the single one here is, is probably sufficient, honestly. Here, there's only three. There's only uh, three red berries left. Yeah. And you got to get them all to count. Let's see what the hot hand yep. of Tyler Tardy can do. Get rid of both yep. guards. Hurt. Hurt. Yep, 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 y
Both reds gone. Uh, terrific shot. Good shot, Ty. Uh, really Great good. Shot from Tyler really terrific Hardy. shot. Now it's even more open than when they started. Great hit and roll. See Karak to pick up the extra they, roll. They shot, sweep it as far out as they can. Reed Carruthers jumping in for a second shot. Well, we have a quick moment. Just want to take one more opportunity to thank all of the people that have come throughout the week and braved the cold to come down here and watch this world-class curling event at the Lloydminster Golf and Curling Center. It has been an awesome week. We've enjoyed bringing it to you on the live stream. Thank you to everybody that's been tuning in throughout the week. It's been so much fun Girl, go ahead. to be in the curling rink watching this yep. action. Girl, yep. As Reed Crothers throws whoa, whoa, his last whoa, whoa, rock whoa. here in eight. The go hit here, and roll, oh trying to get it under a little Not bit around. of cover, trying to find a way to sit three in this house. Kevin Cooey now. Oh, turn peel. His yeah. favorite. Yeah, We've his seen favorite. this a lot, yeah. So we'll see how this ends up. Just want to make a, a clean peel on this. And then we'll... Yeah. A lot of teams this week gearing up for next week's action in Red Deer. A number of the teams were on their way there today. And uh, these two guys, teams are getting ready to go yep, as well. Yep, 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 a yep, little yep, bit of work yep, left yep, 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 yep. as Kevin Cooey throwing the hard. out turn hard. peel. Hard. His hard. famous hard. out hard. turn hard. peel. Hard. Get going, get going. Get this one at the back of the house, and he does. Good, Good shot, shot there from Kevin That'll Cooey. And the handshakes are out. The champions of the 2024 Aztec Safety Challenge is yeah, Team Cooey. A really, really fantastic game. Woo! Well played Great by the team Cooey. Oh, boys. Let's yeah. all <laughs> what a week. Woo! What fantastic a game. Fantastic game, fellas. What a match. Thank you. We're going to have a trophy presentation for our champions of the Aztec Safety Challenge, Team Cooey. As they bring out this trophy at the Aztec That's Safety Challenge, beauty. which was designed by local artist Michelle Lake. As things get set up, guys, what are your final thoughts on the Great game? Pair, buddy. It was well, definitely you know, like Cooey just got off to a really, they got their team just got off to a really hot start, and uh, and uh, that that second end, eh, Ryan, that, that really propelled end. them. Yes, yes, and then and then that fifth end, they got. They got, um, you know, that too was huge for them as well. So, um, just just a lot of steady pressure by that team all yeah. game, eh, yeah. Ryan? Yeah. Well yeah. executed from start to finish. There's always that one team that gets really hot, Kyle. Great weekend for Kevin Cooey. Fantastic weekend for both of these teams. I'm sure they'll be happy with all of their performance when they look yeah. back. Yeah. And truthfully, like even just getting the hammer in the first end, you know, oh. they they absolutely they got the they got the power. Okay. Right off the bat. If I can get the team, if I get Team Cooey, our first Cut down ever champions. To the ice right now. On the ice, you've got Grant Klippenstein, Megan Pressel from the Lloyd Minster Curling Club, Caitlin Mulligan from Aztec Safety, Dan Lowen from Aztec Safety, Rod Wild from Wild Rose Pump and Compression, so Down Falshear, and Wild Jeff Rose Mulligan Pump and from Aztec Safety. All of we'll our let them sponsors. Take it. We want to thank uh, the rest of the sponsors that you see represented here today. Without them, this simply does not happen. These are local companies that gave generously because they wanted to see the best in the world play the best in the world. So thank you to our sponsors. And uh, this game doesn't happen unless you have the very best ice. And uh, I know that uh, Kevin and, and his team are thankful that we had John Wall, Brian McCloskey right there. Brian pulled. Uh, he's our ice maker. And uh, Graydon Lomas is also here. But uh, Brian right there worked hours and hours and hours on, on this facility, and the ice uh, held up for the entire event under very difficult situation. So thank the volunteers. It takes over hundreds of volunteers, and Nicole and her team of the volunteers to do all the work here. Amazing. I want to thank Caitlin, the event chair. She worked hard with the players and with her organizing committee. And uh, our live stream was a gigantic hit, so Groove V Productions and Maz Entertainment, together with all our volunteer commentators, thank you very much, guys. They're right up there.
And so I want to ask uh, Rod from Wild Rose Pump and Compression and, and Dil Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Dylan, our Vice President of Business Development at Aztec, to uh, present the trophy and the individual trophies to Team Cooey. You're not going to want to pick that up. You'll, you'll want to get behind it. <laughs> and we'll get some pictures done with you. If you, you guys want to stand on either end and get a picture there, Rod. You guys get right behind there, Kevin, if you can. Yep. Right in behind here. And you guys get in there. Perfect. Nice. A lot of smiles down there, guys. A lot of work goes into Again, this. Again, to our fans, thank you so much. We had a difficult weather, and you guys were here. Fantastic job. We thank every one of you. Now, our organizing committee members get in with our Team Kui champions. Go on, guys. Get on in there. Again, some big shouts out to the people that are coming onto the ice right now. You guys now. get Nicole on either Reiniger, side, stand in there with the team. This is the organizing committee. The, These the guys have worked countless hours. Of work here we this. go. The guys here we go. here now getting out there. <laughs> oh, nice. They picked Great it up. Great job there by we the go. guys. Lots of smiles. A lot of hard work's gone into this, guys. Hopefully we'll be able to do this for a number of years. There we go. Okay, now, Kate, if you hold this. We're just going to get in here. Rod Wild now, Grant Klippenstein, Dan Lowen, Dallin Falshear, Jeff Mulligan jumping in for a quick picture with the winning team. Team Cooey has a big week here at the Lloyd Minster Golf and Curling Center in the Aztec Safety Challenge. Again, a lot of people, a lot of smiles, a lot of volunteers, and an inaugural event that went off without a hitch. A lot of people doing a lot of work. I think there's the a couple of interviews they want to do, but thank you. Drive safe. Appreciate the support, Aztec, and to all of our sponsors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, guys. For there's Irene up there. Where'd she go? Where's Irene? For everybody that has been a part of the event. For Irene, where's that Irene? Is, Tuned in online. Irene, come on here. Thank you very, very much. That is going to be the end of our broadcast. Thank you to the production crew. You guys did an outstanding job. We look forward to bringing this back to you next year. The Aztec Safety Challenge. Your champions, Team Cooey. Thank you, everybody. It's been a blast. Aztec Safety. This must be the place, boys. about right. Looks like this is where the uh, engineers hang out. Nice spot. Here's something else that's cool under pressure. Great tour, but where's our man Brett? I don't know. All right, normally he's bailing me out. Roll reversal, baby, there he is! Recipe load! <laughs> Putting out fires for these guys already. Hi there, I'm Joseph Rosenberg, the Contact Center Manager for Utility Safety Partners, and we're very proud to be a sponsor of the Aztec Safety Challenge. Now, when you're competing in a bond spiel, you gotta dig deep and uncover what's buried and plan each shot. 
And in life, when you've got to dig deep and uncover what's buried, well, you have to plan, and that plan needs to involve utility safety partners. When bumping that object in front of you is not an option.